Chapter 2861 Sisters in Trouble Brother San, how do you know? Asked Mu Qingyan. I can sense the auras of other people, said Long Chen. The nine-star hegemon body art was very sensitive to these auras. Although his abilities had been limited after entering the immortal world, he could still sense this. Was someone else also after the heavenly flame seed? Long Chen started to have a bad feeling. He had found this information from one of the historical texts he had read. That book hadn't been read in hundreds of years. According to reason, no one should know. Everyone, come with me. Be careful. Try not to make any noise, ordered Long Chen. They carefully entered the cave. As soon as they entered, a dense heat washed over them. So Huo Long's image on Long Chen's arm lit up. They quickly arrived at a large cave with dozens of pathways to choose from. It was like a maze. Long Chen closed his eyes and sensed where the flame energy was the strongest. After that, he led everyone to the right. Ba San, I don't feel very well. My head is splitting. It's like something was set on fire, said one disciple painfully. He was dripping with sweat. Endure it. This is the burning wool of the heavenly flame, and it won't cause any real damage to your body. This is a tempering for your will. The longer you can endure, the more it will benefit you. When you can no longer endure any longer, your body will automatically make you pass out. But let me tell you, once you pass out, you won't benefit from it any longer. You'll only have this one chance. Next time you come here, there won't be this kind of effect. If you want to become strong, grit your teeth and endure, said Long Chen. Ba San, I understand. That disciple clenched his teeth, bitterly enduring the pain of his soul and continuing onward. This underground cave was pitch black, except for the occasional dark red glow from the walls as if it was being heated. However, when touched, it was ice cold. The will of the heavenly flame grew more intense the further they went, to the point that even Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, Li Kei, and the others found it taxing. As for the ordinary disciples, they were holding their heads, clenching their teeth. Some people were clenching their teeth so hard that they spat out blood. However, they still persevered. Long Chen suddenly paused and took out a sword. He slashed the wall. The thin stone wall with the thickness of a palm was cut open. After that, it revealed a large space behind it. Within this space were over ten lantern-like glowing objects embedded into the wall. Heavenly flame orbs. Mu Qingyan cried out in shock. Heavenly flame orbs could be likened to the companion ores of heavenly flame seeds. They possessed their own powerful flame energy and were rare treasures even in the immortal world. Even before Long Chen could get a close look, Huo Long flew out and swallowed those heavenly flame orbs into its stomach. Mu Qingyan and the others jumped in shock. It was only when Huo Long returned to Long Chen's arm that they realized that this flame dragon belonged to Long Chen. These heavenly flame orbs were extremely beneficial to Huo Long, able to increase its power by quite a bit. Although it wasn't as good as the heavenly flame seed, at least they hadn't come for nothing. Back then, Huo Long had refined a single heavenly flame orb, and it had taken a long time. Now it devoured them in almost an instant, and its power rose sharply. At the center of this room was a stalactite. Long Chen walked to the bottom of it and saw a fist-sized spirit crystal. This is, heavens, heavenly flame source, exclaimed Mu Qingyan. This was practically a legendary existence, something that gave birth to heavenly flames. Who would have thought that they would stumble upon one today? It's no good. The heavenly flame source has only formed recently. It still hasn't gained the recognition of heaven and earth. If we take it now, this spiritual treasure of the world that takes millions of years to form will be destroyed. Long Chen sighed and shook his head. Even so, if you take it, its value will be shocking. If you give it to the academy, you'll be able to get countless resources, said Mu Qingyan. Doing so is far too wasteful. Legend has it that such spiritual treasures have their own destinies. It hasn't matured yet, so it means its master hasn't come yet. If we take it forcibly, it will incur karma. Although I'm already surrounded by bad luck and don't mind adding on some more, destroying such a spiritual treasure will aggrieve me. Let's go. Tens of thousands of years from now, this fruit will be ripe for the picking. Leave it to the one with destiny to it. Having taken the heavenly flame orbs, Long Chen knew to be content with what he had. 
He touched the heavenly flame source, sighed, and then led everyone away. Long Chen sealed the entrance, making sure there was no sign that they had broken the wall. Although some disciples were tempted by this treasure, for someone as fearless as Long Chen to give up on it made them not dare to think about taking it. They continued on their way, with Long Chen guiding them. They didn't even remember how many twists and turns they went through before they reached the end. Long Chen had found another spacious room and gained more heavenly flame orbs. He had now gained over 50 of them, so Huo Long was growing increasingly powerful. Let's stop here. The will of the heavenly flame is growing too powerful. You probably won't be able to endure it. Rest here. As long as you can make sure that you don't fall unconscious, you'll benefit immensely. If someone does faint, use an ice needle to pierce the human center acupuncture point. That will wake them up. Don't miss this chance to rapidly improve. As novices, you can make rapid advancements that won't be possible in the future. Such a thing won't happen again. Warned Long Chen sternly. Yes. Everyone hastily sat down and worked hard on keeping their minds clear. Resisting the scorching of their souls. Long Chen looked at Mu Qingyan. You are different from the others. This heavenly flame will is unable to threaten you. So you should take the initiative in absorbing that remnant aura to broil your soul. Then transmit your pain and helplessness to your sword. Closely feel how its emotions change in response. Try to form a resonance with its spirit. Brother San, are you leaving? Asked Mu Qingyan. Yes. Someone else came first. My guess was very likely correct. And a new heavenly flame seed has been born. I need to fight for it. It's incredibly important. So I will leave this place to you, said Long Chen. Mu Qingyan had an urge to say that she would accompany him, but then she thought that she would only slow him down. Staying here was better. Long Chen's arms bulged as he picked up a giant rock. He then sealed this space so it looked like a dead end from the outside. After arranging this, he returned to his original path and followed a different path. His pace quickened. As he was rushing, he suddenly paused. Huo Long told him that it sensed powerful flame energy. Long Chen rushed down another passageway. In the end, he saw the light of a fire. That was where the flame energy was densest. However, he then heard metallic clashing and the sound of furious shouts. So Long Chen lightened his footsteps and snuck over. He was then dumbfounded by what he saw. Luo Bing, let me see how you two sisters end up dying. An arrogant and familiar voice entered Long Chen's ears. Chapter 2862 Slaughtering a few people to play Long Chen peered through a crack in the rocks, and there was a large spacious area up ahead. Half of this space was lava, and there was a small stone island within the lava with a stone pathway leading to it. At this moment, hundreds of experts were surrounding the two women. The leader of those experts was Chu Kuang. Beside Chu Kuang were many faces that Long Chen had never seen. However, all of their auras were very powerful. They were wearing robes of the God Institute's disciples, but they were a bit different compared to Li Kei and the others' robes. Inner Academy Disciples Long Chen suddenly recalled that these were the robes of the Inner Academy. Chu Kuang had actually brought out a group of Inner Academy disciples. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were surrounded. At this moment, Luo Ning clenched her sword. Glaring at Chu Kuang with overflowing killing intent. Chu Kuang, you bastard. I didn't expect you to follow us. Spat out Luo Ning through clenched teeth. Ha ha ha. How naive. The Chu family has eyes throughout the High Firmament Academy. What can possibly escape us? My eyes lie even amongst the people by your side. None of your movements can escape me. What? Has your heart finally been won over? Chu Kuang laughed arrogantly like he was looking at prey caught in his trap. Ruxin is your spy. Luo Bing's expression suddenly changed. He, count yourself smart. Now you understand. Although she looked to have an enmity as deep as the sea with me, she had long since come to my bed. How laughable that you were fooled the entire time. This time, you've left yourselves with no way out. Laughed Chu Kuang. That bitch. I viewed her as a sister and she actually betrayed me. Next time I see her, I will definitely cut off her head, raged Luo Ning. The Ruxin she spoke of was their most trusted confidant. When the two of them left, only she knew of it, but that was what had resulted in their current plight. Betrayal was the most painful thing. You won't have that chance, even together. 
both of you aren't a match for me. Now with this many inner academy disciples here as well, there's not the slightest chance of you getting away. Furthermore, you didn't expose your tracks to anyone in order to keep your movement secret. Ruxin only knows that you go out and not what you're doing. No one will save you. He, but don't worry, I won't kill you. I'll make sure that you're captured alive, so I can properly play with you afterward. Ha ha ha. Chu Kuang and the other disciples beside him sneered at them filthily. The academy had its rules, but since this place was not the academy, there were no rules for them to respect. The Ying Prefecture's Luo family Long Chen suddenly clapped his forehead and stared in shock at Luo Ning and Luo Bing. They were actually from the same family as his mother. As for Chu Kuang, he had to be from the Shen Prefecture's Chu family. At this moment, Long Chen didn't expect this world to be so small. In the vast immortal world, he had actually encountered people from his mother's family here. He grew a bit emotional. If this was the case, then he would quickly obtain information about his mother. Ning'er, Luo Bing slowly placed her hand on the back of Luo Ning's head, her voice quivering. Her eyes grew wet. Big sister, I'm not afraid. I won't lose the face of the Luo family, said Luo Ning staunchly. She had no fear. She knew that Luo Bing intended to kill her to avoid her being captured alive. At that time, her life would be worse than death. Compared to her big sister, Luo Ning's combat power was still lacking. Hence, Luo Bing would kill her and then go all out against Chu Kuang and the others. Every person she dragged down with her would be a bonus until she had no choice but to also kill herself. Unfortunately, Luo Ning was too weak. If a battle started with these people, she might not even have the ability to kill herself when the time came. If there is another life, let us be sisters again. Luo Bing closed her eyes. She was just about to do it when a voice rang out. If the two of them together aren't a match for you, what if you add me in as well? Everyone was startled. They turned to see a black-robed Long Chen walking in with a smile. It's you. Chu Kuang and the others were surprised. No one would have imagined that Long Chen would suddenly appear here. However. After a moment of shock, Chu Kuang actually smiled. He waved his hand, and over ten more people appeared from behind some rubble, blocking off Long Chen's retreat path. Chu Kuang could be said to be truly cautious. Other than the people he had shown off, he even had some hidden backups just to prevent Luo Bing from escaping. It was a final line of defense that should have never been required, but now they gave Long Chen no chance of escaping. However, Long Chen didn't even look at them. He had long since noticed Chu Kuang's arrangements, so he continued walking over. That smile on his face was extremely bright. It was his first time being so happy in the immortal world. It felt like the clouds had parted. It really is a case of the heavens opening a path for you, but you still barge through the locked gates of hell. Long Chen, I admire this courage of yours. Are you trying to be the hero saving the beauties? It's too bad that you overestimate your power, sneered Chu Kuang. You're wrong. I'm not just going to be the hero saving the beauties. I'm going to take all the treasures here as well as slaughter a few people for fun, said Long Chen. He looked at the disciples in the surroundings and indifferently said, Ba San's mood is good today. I'll give you a chance. If you don't want to die, then hurry up and scram. Ha ha ha. Laughter rang out from each of them and they looked at Long Chen like he was a fool. Are you an idiot? Do you not see our cultivation basis? Sneered one of those inner academy disciples. You are referring to the fact that you've ignited your divine flames. Long Chen cast his gaze at that disciple and then shook his head. In my eyes, you are all ants. Even slighter bigger ants can only be trampled. There is no difference. Long Chen had arrived before them. Hence. They opened up their enclosure and closed it behind him. As for Long Chen, as if he didn't even notice them, he walked over to Luo Bing and Luo Ning. Chu Kuang didn't bother stopping him either, allowing him to enter. By walking in, he was giving up his last chance to escape. Long Chen walked right up to the two of them and smiled. I'm here to save you, you. Why bother? Luo Ning was moved. But she knew that Long Chen couldn't do anything against so many experts that had ignited their divine flames. There's nothing else I can do. I've been toppled over by the immortal looks of two beautiful women. So I have no choice but to come out. Let me tell you a secret. 
I wasn't trying to walk so slowly just now. My legs are actually sore, and I was worried that I would trip if I went any faster, whispered Long Chen solemnly. Although he switched to a whisper midway, everyone heard him clearly. Luo Bing then stared at him in bewildered confusion. Was this person a fool? Just die. Who wants to hear you talk? One of the disciples suddenly took out a sword and slashed at Long Chen's back. Long Chen chuckled. All right, we'll go with what you said. Without looking back, Long Chen suddenly bent over, his body twisting. His hand swung out in a graceful arc after that. His hand slapped that disciple's face perfectly. As a result, half of his head caved in, and he was blown back, falling into the lava. Chapter 2863 Acting the pig to eat the tiger Ah, The disciple screamed in pain when he fell into the lava. His clothes and hair were instantly ignited. Seeing him struggle crazily, one disciple reacted quickly and tossed out a rope. Grab on. The disciple then grabbed it just above his head. He was pulled out. But when he was out, everyone couldn't help inhaling a cold breath of air. Everything below that disciple's chest had vanished. However, that disciple didn't even seem to notice this. Thinking he was saved, he had an ecstatic expression. It was only when he tried to stand that he realized his predicament. No, although he had ignited his divine flame, he didn't have the power to regrow his body. Hence, he would quickly die. He began to wail but no one could save him. They could only watch as he died. You're really cruel. Long Chen shook his head and sighed sorrowfully. What nonsense. You're the one who did this. How are we the cruel ones? Cursed one disciple. The others were just as enraged. Long Chen dared to act like some good person after doing this? I did this. If you hadn't interfered, he would have died within the warmth, returning to the embrace of nature. But you? You looked like you were saving him but you were harming him, letting him see hope before once more flinging him into absolute despair. If you really wanted to help him, you shouldn't have saved him. I even suspect that you have some deep enmity with him and were using this cruel method as revenge. Sigh. I can't bear watching. Long Chen turned his head away. Bullshit. I, the disciple that had reacted so quickly was enraged. He had clearly saved his comrade out of the kindness of his heart. When did he ever have malicious intentions? Ah, that disciple suddenly screamed. The person with only half his body left had suddenly grabbed his legs and bit down on his calf, tearing off a chunk of flesh. Zhang Zuo, you bastard. Just because I played with your girl, you treat me like this. I won't forgive you. That disciple roared furiously and bit down on his leg again. Ah, you've gone crazy, enduring the pain. Zhang Zhuo tried to push the dying disciple off, but with death in front of him, the latter erupted with all his power, refusing to let go. In just a moment, Zhang Zhuo's leg was left a bloody mess. Finally, the enraged Zhang Zhuo slashed that disciple's neck. A headless corpse fell, but his head remained attached to his leg, still biting on a chunk of his flesh. Wow, how vicious. You even strike a friend who is on the verge of death. Long Chen shook his head sadly. That person peeled the head off of his leg, tearing off another piece of his flesh. Hearing Long Chen fanning the flames to the side made him explode. Die. He furiously attacked. A rope appeared in his hand and flew out like a python aiming for Long Chen's neck. This rope was covered in barbs. If it landed on Long Chen and he pulled, let alone a body of flesh, even rocks would be torn apart. It was an extremely rare type of weapon. However, just as the rope was about to reach Long Chen, a hand covered in dragon scales caught it. As you wish, Long Chen pulled. As a result, that person's body was involuntarily lifted into the air, accompanied by countless shocked cries. He fell into the lava as well. Ah, save me, that person cried out. He had just ignited his divine flame and couldn't fly. Thinking of the previous disciple's plight, he almost fainted. Long Chen agreed and waved his hand again, pulling him out. As a result, just like the last person, only half his body returned. The rest vanished within the lava. Long Chen, you murderer. You won't have a good death. Knowing that he wasn't long for this world, that person cried out in anger. You really don't know how to talk. You were the one who asked to die. I was only doing what you wanted. Then you asked someone to save you. I pulled you back. Now what? 
It really is hard being a good person. Long Chen sighed and shrugged helplessly. You, you, fuck your good person. That person actually slammed his own hand on his head after he finished cursing, killing himself. Two inner academy disciples who had ignited their divine flames died just like that. Everyone else still didn't even understand what was happening. Behind him, Luo Ning and Luo Bing were delighted. Although Long Chen had yet to reveal his true power, two experts who had ignited their divine flames were toyed by him to this extent. He was definitely a true expert. Although Luo Bing also possessed the power to fight across realms, Long Chen wasn't even fighting right now. He was playing with them. Chu Kuang's side was shocked and infuriated. They had never imagined that Long Chen would appear here. Furthermore, he seemed even more frightening than the rumors. Two of them had attacked but couldn't even make Long Chen reveal his true power before losing their lives. Moreover, Long Chen's calm indifference gave them chills. Although they were all experts who had killed before, the way Long Chen killed so calmly made them afraid. For them, that kind of calm was fate. After all, no one could kill their fellow humans without feeling something. However, Long Chen's gaze seemed completely apathetic. It was terrifying. Chu Kuang, no need to probe me. You might be able to hide your power in front of others, but not me. You want to play the pig to eat the tiger? It's meaningless. No matter how you play or fake it, in front of me, you will always be a pig. Long Chen's gaze gradually sharpened when he looked at Chu Kuang. Now his gaze was like a sharp sword. In that instant, his aura began to change. This was his first time unleashing his battle intent after entering the immortal world. That was because out of everyone here, only he could see through Chu Kuang's true power. For Long Chen, Chu Kuang was the only expert in the same realm that was worth fighting here. HMPH. Empty arrogance. Go kill him together. Chu Kuang sneered and waved his hand. Kill. The inner academy disciples charged forward together. Seeing this scene, Luo Ning and Luo Bing raised their swords, but Long Chen waved his hand at them. The two of you don't need to join in. Just protect yourselves. Long Chen stepped forward, appearing amongst those disciples like a phantom. With a slash of his sword, three weapons were shattered, and three heads flew into the air. Blood rained down. Chapter 2864 Bloodline Spirit Weapon A Sword Cultivator Startled cries rang out. For Long Chen to be able to shatter weapons on the same level so easily, he could only be a legendary sword cultivator. Sword cultivators were inconceivable existences even within the immortal world, said to possess the greatest offensive power. When those three were killed, the other disciples felt the chill. No one had expected Long Chen to be a terrifying sword cultivator. The High Firmament Academy had a Sword Dao Institute. But sword cultivators were too rare. So the number of the old and young members of the Sword Dao Institute together was only a few hundred. Furthermore, sword cultivators were usually aloof and kept a distance away from the rest of the crowd. Sometimes the disciples of the Sword Dao Institute wouldn't step outside for years or even decades. However, their position was definitely extremely high. It was said that they received practically whatever resources that they wanted. If Long Chen was a sword cultivator, he should have directly joined the Sword Dao Institute. Why had he run to the God Institute which was practically destitute in comparison? However, they didn't have time to think too much. Long Chen was sweeping through their midst like a phantom. As soon as he killed three people, he swept out his sword, a sharp light coming out of it. That was sword light, a power that only sword cultivators could unleash. One disciple was unable to dodge in time, but he also didn't dare to face Long Chen head on. In a rush, he took out a shield. With a light sound, half of that shield fell to the ground, and then half of that disciple's body fell along with it. Long Chen's sword had sliced him in two along with his shield. Don't be afraid. Sword cultivators have weak bodies. One heavy blow and he'll die, shouted another disciple. The fatal weakness of sword cultivators was just as well known as their terrifying offensive power. Boom. That disciple hadn't even finished speaking before a giant hammer struck Long Chen in the back. However, without turning back, Long Chen smashed his fist behind him. The hammer was sent flying, while the attacker's arms were broken. He hacked up blood. What now everyone was dumbfounded. 
How could a sword cultivator also possess such a powerful physical body? Was he a sword cultivator or not? In an instant, eight people were killed by Long Chen, and their corpses were tossed into the lava. The others began to run. All of a sudden, a blood-colored saber whistled toward Long Chen, and he raised his sword to block. As a result, sparks flew and the entire cave shuddered. Chu Kuang had finally joined in. His saber's runes shone brightly. This was a powerful weapon. Long Chen, be careful. It's a spirit weapon, warned Luo Ning. Spirit weapons. They were extremely precious and possessed terrifying destructive power. Normal people weren't qualified to possess them. Their name came due to them possessing their own spirituality. Only experts who had ignited their divine flames could activate that spirituality. But somehow, Chu Kuang was also capable of it. Long Chen, although your power has somewhat exceeded my expectations, remember my words. No matter how strong you are, it's not enough in front of me. Chu Kuang pressed down with his saber, his aura growing. How interesting. It seems that you are very confident. I feel like I've seen through your power, but you feel like you've seen through me as well. However, my confidence is real, while yours is fake. So today, you're the one who's going to lose. Long Chen remained indifferent even as he received Chu Kuang's increasing power. Chu Kuang sneered. I don't even know how many confident idiots like you that I've killed. I like your expressions the most just as you realize that you're about to die. Are you talking about yourself? If you really were confident, you wouldn't conceal your power. Your Chu family really is trash. You were only able to rise again due to betraying your master. After rising, in order to conceal what you had done, you completely devoured the entire bloodline of your master. Did you think that eating up an honorable family tree would cover up your beast-like actions? The blood of despicable animals flows within your Chu family. Just your gaze is enough for me to see your sinisterness, your despicableness, your craftiness, as well as the cowardice and inferiority you feel deep in your heart. For you to be able to so unashamedly say such big words at this time really is amazing. You managed to train your facial skin into such a thick wall, mocked Long Chen. Luo Ning and Luo Bing were startled. Long Chen was aware of the history of the Chu family that they had done their best to cover up. It had to be known that the Luo family's people all knew the Chu family's history in order to understand the deep enmity that lay between them. However, very few outsiders were aware of the Chu family's matters. After all, the Chu family had long since erased any history that didn't show them in a good light. What they didn't know was just the number of historical texts that Long Chen had read. The Chu family's history wasn't his main reading topic. He only learned about them from the history of the Ying Prefecture's Luo family. Some fragmentary comments also taught him about the despicable things that the Chu family had done. On the other hand, Long Chen couldn't find anything like that in the Luo family's history. This showed just how strict the Luo family's teachings were. They didn't do things that couldn't be revealed to others. The fact that they disdained beautifying their own history gave Long Chen a good feeling about the Luo family. Although his mother came from the Luo family, he wouldn't automatically be on their side just because of it. Just like how he was surnamed Long and detested the Long family, he had his own principles. What drivel? You dare to blaspheme my Chu family? I will turn you to dust. Long Chen's words seemed to have touched one of Chu Kuang's nerves. At this moment, his eyes turned red, while centipede-like lines appeared around his eyes and spread throughout his face. His blood chi erupted like a wild beast had awakened. Also, his saber rumbled intensely as if it had been woken up as well. An overwhelming power then poured out of his saber. Upon seeing this, Long Chen's heart shook, and he twisted his sword to force the saber aside. A ray of light then shot out of the saber toward some of the disciples. That sharp saber light tore through those disciples in an instant, killing them. It then struck the wall, leaving a deep cut in it making fragments of stone rain down. Luo Ning and Luo Bing were both shocked by what they saw. Luo Bing cried out, Long Chen, be careful. He possesses the Chu family's bloodline divine ability. His spirit weapon is a bloodline spirit weapon. Combined, he can unleash unlimited power. Just at this moment, the lava behind Long Chen exploded, and a fiery heat washed over everyone. Novaloon.com CM it's finally drawn out. Long Chen was delighted. 
A heavenly flame seed was about to show itself. Chapter 2865 The heavenly flame seed appears heavenly flame seed. Even Chu Kuang was startled. He had only come here because he was following Luo Ning and Luo Bing. He had no idea about the history of Crescent Moon Valley. Luo Ning and Luo Bing were also caught off guard. One year ago, they had learned about the existence of Crescent Moon Valley. The first time they came. They noticed a footlong flame seed floating within the lava, delighted by the discovery of the heavenly flame seed, especially one that hadn't gained sentience yet and was in its weakest state. They wanted to take it. However, as soon as that thought appeared, the heavenly flame seed seemed to sense the danger, and it submerged into the lava. The two of them waited three days here back then, but it didn't appear again. Hence, they temporarily left. Once they returned to the academy, Based on the color of the seed, they spent a long time researching possibilities and concluded that it was the Scarlet Spirit Flame. It was ranked 573 on the Heavenly Flame rankings. It was known to be gentle and meek, one of the easiest Heavenly Flames to obtain. This delighted the two of them. Just half a year ago, they had bought a special flame net just for the purpose of obtaining the Heavenly Flame Seed. By using Flame Divine Runes to conceal their auras. They could easily get closer to it and then succeed in using the net to capture it. Regretfully, they had ended up startling the heavenly flame seed in the process. It struggled and actually escaped their flame net. The two of them were dismayed by this as they were even struck by fire poison. They then returned to the academy once more, resting in preparation for trying again. However, Luo Bing ended up fighting Chu Kuang in the academy and being injured. She had been recuperating all the way until now. This time, the two of them had spent a large sum in order to buy a large number of supportive items. They had to succeed this time and take the heavenly flame seed away. Unfortunately, Chu Kuang had ended up tailing them, and they had fallen for his trap. At this moment, when they sensed the heavenly flame seed's aura, they were shocked to find that its aura had completely transformed. It was full of brutality and murderous intent. What they didn't know was that as soon as Long Chen arrived here, Huo Long had sensed the heavenly flame seed below the lava. However, it hid in the lava and refused to come out. Luo Bing and Luo Ning had repeatedly disturbed it, causing it to grow more sensitive to human auras. Furthermore, Chu Kuang had led so many people as well, and they hadn't concealed their auras from it, which resulted in the heavenly flame seed refusing to come out. Due to this, Long Chen had thrown these divine flame experts' corpses into the lava. They had ignited their divine flames. These flames would slowly extinguish when they died. But by tossing them into the lava, these flames ended up becoming bait. The heavenly flame seed stealthily devoured the power of one of the disciples' divine flames and was instantly hooked. That was because it was branded with the emotions of that human. This heavenly flame seed was originally a spirit condensed by the flames of the heavenly deos a spiritual treasure of heaven and earth. Its body was pure like white paper. If no one touched it, it would slowly absorb more essence of the world. Over millions of years, it would come to possess its own will and become a supreme existence. However, having devoured a human during the process, its purity was ruined. This was why the best timing to capture a heavenly flame seed was while it was still like a pure white paper. However, Long Chen had still thrown in those disciples using their divine flames as bait. Hence, the heavenly flame seed quickly became violent and greedy. There were dozens of corpses on the ground whose divine flame seeds had yet to extinguish. It wanted to devour them all. When the lava exploded, Luo Bing and Luo Ning hastily dodged. A three-meter-tall lion had appeared within the lava, and it suddenly roared, shaking this cave. Its legs stamped on the air. Flames appeared beneath its feet. It actually ran through the air, charging at Long Chen and Chu Kuang. After that, it opened its mouth, unleashing a wave of fire with such a wide range that it even affected Luo Bing and Luo Ning. The two of them were shocked. They hadn't expected the heavenly flame seed to be able to transform so quickly. Based on their research, it should have taken hundreds of years before it transformed. What they didn't know was that this was not a true transformation. It could be considered a kind of forced adaptation. Those people's divine flames had stimulated the heavenly flame seed, causing it to create a battle state for itself. 
Luo Ning and Luo Bing formed hand seals, summoning a translucent barrier, but they had no confidence in whether or not this barrier would be able to block these flames. Behind them was more lava, so they had nowhere to retreat. However, as soon as they summoned this shield, their waists tightened. Long Chen had grabbed both of them and fled with them. The two of them cried out in shock. Long Chen was dragging them into the lava behind them. However, they were even more shocked when they saw Long Chen running across the lava. He didn't sink. Long Chen quickly managed to bring the two of them to shore. Only then did they recover from their shock. Luo Bing blushed at the close contact. She didn't know whether she should thank Long Chen or push him off of her. She was still wondering which to do first when Long Chen let go of them. Hide at the exit. It would be best if you didn't let Chu Kuang escape. I will see whether or not it's possible to kill him here. Long Chen was already charging back into the sea of fire ahead of them. At this moment, the corpses on the ground were incinerated, and their divine flame seeds had been devoured by the flame lion. After devouring all those divine flame seeds, it became even more violent and pounced at Chu Kuang. Chu Kuang was enraged by this attack. He then hacked his saber down, blowing the lion back. However, Chu Kuang also didn't have it easy. This flame lion was a heavenly flame seed, so he felt his blood almost boil, like he was going to be set ablaze. He would only be able to receive a few more attacks like that. After forcing the flame lion back, Chu Kuang turned to run. However, at that moment, a sharp sword came slashing down at him, forcing him into a hasty block. As a result of his hasty block, Long Chen sent him flying straight toward the flame lion. The flame lion was already charging back, becoming a pincer attack with Long Chen. Boom. Chu Kuang was struck by one of the flame lion's claws. As a result, his whole body was covered in flames. His clothes and hair were ignited. Die. Chu Kuang roared furiously. At this moment, the lines on his face instantly spread, covering his entire body. His aura soared. Boom. The flame lion was sent flying with a slash of his saber. The saber image almost split the sea of lava in two. In his berserk state, Chu Kuang managed to blow back the flame lion. After that, countless runes lit up on his saber as he attacked Long Chen. Long Chen frowned when he looked at Chu Kuang. He then shook his head and lightning appeared beneath his feet. In the face of Chu Kuang's all-out attack, rather than blocking, he chose to dodge. Boom. Chu Kuang's saber ended up slashing onto the ground, sending stones flying in every direction. A large ditch was left in this tough ground. Coward. Aren't you arrogant? If you have the gods, receive one of my attacks, roared Chu Kuang, once more charging toward Long Chen. Chapter 2866 Long Chen's Calculations Boom. Lightning flashed beneath Long Chen's feet once more as he dodged. Chu Kuang was unable to lock down Long Chen. After that, Chu Kuang furiously unleashed seven blows, while lightning continued to flicker beneath Long Chen's feet. Although every one of Chu Kuang's attacks was incredibly close to Long Chen, they were still missing by just a little bit, unable to injure him. The way that Long Chen was dodging so closely made Luo Ning and Luo Bing's hearts pound just by watching. They hadn't expected Chu Kuang to be concealing himself so deeply. Before this, Luo Bing had thought that Chu Kuang was only slightly stronger than her, and there was an aspect of luck in her defeat. Now she understood just how great the difference between them was. She also thought of how many times Ruxin had leaked Chu Kuang's movements outside the academy to her, encouraging her to go kill him. After thinking of that, sweat dripped down her back. Chu Kuang truly was sinister. He had intentionally made himself appear weak to bait her out of the academy and kill her. If it weren't for multiple accidents occurring, causing her to not go, perhaps she would have fallen for his trap. Chu Kuang wasn't as brainless as his name made him seem. He actually schemed so deeply. Do we go help him? Seeing that Chu Kuang was so powerful that Long Chen couldn't even counterattack, Luo Ning grew anxious. If Long Chen was struck by one of those attacks, they would be truly defeated. Chu Kuang has already activated his bloodline power. We can't even get close to him as we'll only cause trouble for Long Chen if we go. However, Chu Kuang cannot maintain such a furious tempest of attacks. Once his aura drops, we can attack together and possibly kill him, said Luo Bing. 
She was clearer on the Chu family's foundation. Chu Kuang couldn't maintain this bloodline power for long considering that he still wasn't in the divine flame realm. Although it looked like Long Chen was at a disadvantage, his movements were still stable. While it looked like he was only narrowly dodging every move, he did it skillfully and easily. It seemed that he was waiting for his opportunity. Boom. Just at this moment, the flame lion that Chu Kuang had blown back returned. Chu Kuang's attack seemed to have infuriated it. Aiming at Chu Kuang, it opened its mouth and unleashed a flame sword. Chu Kuang was infuriated. Why did this lion not go bite Long Chen, or even Luo Bing or Luo Ning? That was because of Chu Kuang's powerful divine flame seed. It hadn't been ignited yet, but it was even stronger than the divine flame seeds of all the disciples that the flame lion had just devoured combined. Furthermore, Chu Kuang's attacks had further provoked it. Considering its low intelligence, with this provocation, it would only crazily target him. All of this was within Long Chen's calculations. He didn't know that this was the Scarlet Spirit Flame, but he had a feeling that as long as he did this, it would attack Chu Kuang. His intuition was always accurate. Boom. Long Chen rapidly retreated, leaving Chu Kuang to deal with the Flame Lion's attack by himself. As a result, when it struck, Chu Kuang hacked up blood and his entire body was chaired. He screamed. The fragrance of meat has appeared. Do I need to give you some cumin and pepper? Long Chen smiled in the distance. Long Chen, just you wait. Chu Kuang was enveloped by flames. That terrifying attack left him in sharp pain. He wasn't even able to extinguish these flames right now. If he focused on extinguishing them, that would give Long Chen a chance to attack. That might cost him his life. Hence. Borrowing the force of the flame lion's attack, he rushed into the distance. Take care, Long Chen didn't chase him. Instead, he amicably waved to send him off. This was his way of telling Luo Ning and Luo Bing not to block him. Chu Kuang was truly crafty. He fled while still possessing most of his combat power, and he refused to take the risk of falling into danger. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were unable to stop him in this state. If they tried they might be the ones to die. With Chu Kuang having fled, the Scarlet Spirit Flame had lost its target. It seemed that it could only cast its anger on Huo Long who was in Long Chen's body. Bind Long Chen smiled and extended a hand. The next moment, Huo Long flew out of Long Chen's arm and wrapped around the Scarlet Spirit Flame. Get in. After Long Chen formed a hand seal, the Scarlet Spirit Flame and Huo Long vanished. With Huo Long's help, the Scarlet Flame Spirit was drawn into the Primal Chaos Space. In the Primal Chaos Space, it no longer possessed its precious Berserk Rage. Instead, it became docile, not even daring to move. Long Chen smiled. As expected, the Primal Chaos Bead was always the winner. Once something was sucked inside, he would be its master. The Scarlet Spirit Flame didn't move. Huo Long tightened its hold on it, and its runes slowly flowed into Huo Long's body. Long Chen clenched his fists. He hadn't expected this endeavor to go so smoothly. He had obtained a heavenly flame. In other words, his alchemy was instantly upgraded, and he also had a new terrifying trump card. Long Chen, are you all right? Luo Bing and Luo Ning ran over urgently. I'm fine. Long Chen shrugged and smiled. Of course, he was fine. Chu Kuang hadn't even managed to graze his clothes. Thank you for saving us. We will definitely remember this favor, said Luo Bing. If Long Chen hadn't come, the two of them would have definitely died. There was even the danger of being captured alive and humiliated. That would be a life worse than death. You're too courteous. I've always found Chu Kuang to be dislikable. Since the enemy of my enemy is my friend, we can be friends in the future. The kind that won't betray the other even in death. Long Chen extended his hand. Luo Ning and Luo Bing were members of his mother's family. From their eyes, he felt like he could trust them. Long Chen's smile was very infectious, like a sunny youngster. It made them feel an urge to trust him automatically. Luo Bing looked at Long Chen in surprise, not expecting Long Chen to trust them so easily. This was forming an alliance with them. When she thought of the intimate way he had held the two of them, she blushed slightly. However, his gaze was clear with no impurities. They saw his open and candid nature. Luo Bing expelled those distracting thoughts and grasped hands with Long Chen. 
His hand was strong and warm. Just as her heart trembled ever so slightly, Long Chen let go. This was merely a formality. When shaking hands with a woman, it was best to not hold on too long, or there would be suspicion of you taking advantage of the woman. There's me as well. Luo Ning also extended her hand, but contrary to Luo Bing, she shook his hand enthusiastically. Good brother, if you need anything in the future, just ask. Long Chen laughed. How many women dared to call him good brother? It seemed that there hadn't been more than a few even including the martial heaven continent and the immortal world. Can you two wait a moment? There's something I want below the lava. I'll be right back. Long Chen dived into the lava just like that as Luo Bing and Luo Ning cried out in shock. Chapter 2867 Companion or Flames Wrapped Around Long Chen Like Protective Clothing Huo Long was already in control of a bit of the Scarlet Spirit Flame's power. With this protection, he didn't fear the lava here. He dived down. The bottom was at 300 meters. Here, he spread his divine sense, allowing him to see things within several meters. He quickly found a stone egg. This stone egg was the size of a human. It was just like a goose egg. There were countless runes on top of it. The lava around it twisted and turned. This is the companion ore of the heavenly flame seed. Long Chen was delighted. His intuition was correct. As soon as he saw this egg, knowledge about it entered his mind. It was as if he had originally known these things. But so much time had passed that he was unable to recall them. But when something appeared to trigger them, he remembered. Long Chen grabbed the egg. A light sound came from below. It was like something down below had broken. He pulled it into the primal chaos space and looked down. There was a flower shaped thrown below the egg. It was what had given birth to this companion or Long Chen snapped off the ore. And a tiny little bead slowly condensed on the throne. When the companion ore was taken off, a new one was born. However. It was tinier than a grain of sand right now. For it to grow to the old size would take tens of thousands of years. This companion ore could be considered the food of the heavenly flame seed. It absorbed the energy of the ore to grow. When the companion ore's energy was exhausted, it would crumble. Then a new ore would be born in wait for the next heavenly flame seed. The heavenly flame seed was born from the heavens. The companion ore was born from the earth. First the companion ore appeared. Drawing the power of the heavenly deos to condense a heavenly flame seed. This term, companion ore, was something that people had called it from the start. It was unknown who started this, but it seemed to go against the proper order of who was first. No one knew why people continued to call it that. The companion ore's energy was the foundation of the heavenly flame seed's growth. Once Huo Long finished refining the heavenly flame seed, it could then absorb this companion ore's energy strengthening it further. It could be said that Long Chen's gains this time were truly immense. Long Chen looked at the throne next. It absorbed the power of the earth to give birth to the companion or if it was taken. The power within would probably be around the same level as the actual companion or however, once it was taken, there would never be another companion or born here. There would never be another heavenly flame seed here. Long Chen shook his head. Although he didn't care about some curse from the heavens, ruining such a natural wonder wasn't worth it. The lava surged as Long Chen flew out. Luo Bing and Luo Ning had already grown a bit anxious waiting for him. Sorry for making you wait, said Long Chen. His mood was particularly good right now. As long as you're all right, it's fine. Luo Bing smiled. Ah, I should apologize. This heavenly flame seed is, to me, said Long Chen. This heavenly flame seed was first found by Luo Bing and Luo Ning. Now it had fallen in his hands. If it was something else, he would probably return it to them. But this heavenly flame seed's significance was far too great for him. No need. We would have died here if it weren't for you. Even if Chu Kuang didn't come, it's unknown whether or not we would have been able to capture it this time. There would have been danger either way. We won't hold this against you. So don't worry, said Luo Bing. Luo Bing was already beautiful, but when she smiled, it was like a flower blooming. Long Chen grew a bit foolish when he looked at her. He wondered if his mother looked like her. He only knew that her voice was soft and gentle. His feelings towards his mother grew stronger. Seeing him staring at her so intently, Luo Bing blushed and turned away. Hey, Long Chen, do you not know how to talk? 
My big sister and I take you as a brother. Are you planning on seducing my big sister? Demanded Luo Ning, waving her hand in front of Long Chen. Ning Er, you're a woman. How can you talk like that? Chided Luo Bing. She also had no way to handle her little sister. Her way of talking was so direct that it was too much. Long Chen was embarrassed. Staring at her like that was truly wrong. Sorry, I was reminded of something else when I saw you. I hope you won't take offense. This apology now made Luo Bing a bit embarrassed. She didn't know what to say to alleviate this awkward atmosphere. Long Chen, why do we feel a strange closeness with you? What attribute is your immortal seed? Asked Luo Ning. This so-called mortal seed referred to the spirit root after transcending mortality. It could be considered a transformation of the spirit root. There were all kinds of attributes. Metal, wood, water, fire, earth, find, lightning, light, dark. Some complemented each other. Some suppressed each other. It was possible for similar elements to feel closer. Which was why Luo Ning asked this. Long Chen smiled. It has nothing to do with the immortal seed. The reason we feel close might be because we will be part of the same family in the future. The family that he referred to was his mother's family that they were also part of. But the two of them were unaware of that. Who would have thought that Long Chen would say something so explicit? Seeing Luo Bing flush, Long Chen instantly realized that he had misspoke. But now he didn't know how he should explain himself. Right now, he still couldn't expose his identity. One reason for that was because according to his information, his mother had had a falling out with her father, causing her to run to the lower plane where she fell in love with Long's Hanshin and gave birth to him. Whether or not his status would be recognized by the Luo family was still unknown. The other thing was that if he did reveal who he was, if that information spread, it would not be favorable to him. After all, he hadn't killed Long Aotian. Long Aotian would report what he knew to the Long family of the immortal world. If Long Chen's status was revealed now, it might draw endless hunters. Becoming a family is no problem, but you had better be prepared. The Luo family's women don't marry out. If you want to marry in, it's possible though, said Luo Ning very magnanimously. Ning Er, scolded Luo Bing. How on earth could she speak about such a topic so shamelessly? So there's such a thing. Long Chen smiled. There wasn't before. But over 20 years ago, something happened in the family that enraged the family head. After that, the Luo family's women weren't permitted to marry out. Luo Ning shrugged indifferently. What happened? Asked Long Chen, his heart pounding. Luo Ning said, the family head's daughter Ning Er. How can you randomly discuss the family head's matters? Have you forgotten the family's rules? Shouted Luo Bing. Long Chen's heart pounded like a drum. He had a feeling that the person that the two of them were talking about was his mother. Chapter 2868 Allowed to kill Luo Ning stuck her tongue out at Luo Bing. But she was grateful. The Luo family's familial teachings were very strict. She had almost committed a grave crime. Long Chen, I apologize. But the Luo family's matters really can't be exposed to outsiders. Please forgive us, said Luo Bing. It's fine. That's completely understandable. In any case, we're now firm allies. We can face the Chu family together, said Long Chen. He knew that he couldn't rush the matter with his mother. Luo Bing and Luo Ning couldn't just trust him to the point of telling him such things. If his mother really was the Luo family head's daughter, then she should at least be safe. It was his father's fate that was more worrisome. But there was nothing he could do about it in his current state. Since we're allies, I have to warn you. Chu Kuang is not easy to deal with. It's not just him. Many parts of the academy have the Chu family's influence soaked into them. The God Institute's higher-ups in particular have the Chu family's people, said Luo Bing. Really? The High Firmament Academy simply allows the Chu family to stretch their claws into their management. Long Chen couldn't help frowning. Was the Dean of the Academy an idiot? The waters of the High Firmament Academy run very deep. No one is actually clear on its true power. As for the Dean, he hasn't revealed his face in thousands of years. He has always been an unfathomable existence. Furthermore, the interior of the Academy seems to be in disorder. No one knows what the higher-ups are thinking by not dealing with it. In any case, 
The Chu family's influence in the academy is very strong, but even we are unsure just how far their claws stretch, said Luo Bing. If the Chu family is so powerful here, aren't you at a great disadvantage fighting him in the academy? asked Long Chen. The Luo family are mortal enemies with the Chu family. Wherever the Chu family's disciples appear, the Luo family's people will appear as well. This is an enmity with no rest. Within the academy, everything must be done according to the rules. So even the Chu family doesn't dare to break them. If they are caught, there will only be trouble for them. Anyway, the Luo family also has some power within the academy. So it's not a one-sided battle. We play this game according to the rules. Once an opportunity is grasped, one side will devour the other side's pieces. Just now, the two of us were almost devoured due to our carelessness, sighed Luo Bing. This time had truly been dangerous. They had been too careless. Chu Kuang had truly concealed himself well, acting brainlessly arrogant just to make them underestimate him. He was like a viper waiting for a moment to strike and kill his prey. Long Chen nodded. The Luo and Chu family's enmity had already reached the point that it was part of their blood and soul. There was no rest until death. If the Luo family retreated from the academy, it would be like admitting defeat. It was due to this that the Luo family continued to lie in wait in the high firmament academy for an opportunity to strike back despite their inferior position here. You were all tricked by Chu Kuang. With your power, there is a huge gap compared to him. He has always been disguising himself as a pig to eat the tiger, said Long Chen. Luo Bing nodded. It's true. No one had thought that Chu Kuang would be so powerful when he went all out. The two of us would probably be unable to last even 10 moves against him. No, you're wrong. He did not reveal his full power today, said Long Chen. What Luo Bing and Luo Ning were both startled. Even with that much power, it wasn't all of Chu Kuang's power? Today. Chu Kuang revealed at most 70% of his full power. It might even be less than that. Although I really look down on him, I must admit that he's strong. He's also crafty. I even intentionally used the heavenly flame seed to provoke him into revealing his full power. But he still refused, said Long Chen. Just how great was Long Chen's battle experience? He had been keeping track of just how much Chu Kuang had been holding back. This fellow truly knew how to endure. He was not a wild idiot like he appeared to be normally. If he really held back that much, then only 90% of his power would have been enough to suppress the heavenly flame seed. He might even be able to capture it. Why did he run? Asked Luo Ning. Long Chen smiled and didn't say anything. Inside, he thought that if Chu Kuang really dared to use 90% of his power, then he might not be able to escape afterward with his remaining energy. He truly is powerful. Shouldn't we inform the family that we need reinforcements? Luo Ning looked at Luo Bing. Luo Bing shook her head. This generation's registration has already ended. The academy's rules are set in stone. So they won't be accepting more disciples until the next generation. If we ask to use other channels to get the geniuses of the family in, the family head would definitely reject it. He will not permit something that will tarnish the family's face. Long Chen couldn't help curling his mouth. The Luo family clearly didn't want to use a back channel. For example, something like what he had done, becoming a worker just to become a disciple. They would consider that embarrassing. Long Chen, don't misunderstand Luo Bing instantly realized what Long Chen was thinking. He had been in a rush and had used an unorthodox method to enter the academy. It's fine. I've never cared about something like status. There are no shortcuts to the path of cultivation, and there is no higher or lower path. As for me, I don't do things like slapping my own face to make it look bigger. Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen did not fully approve of the Luo family head's methods. Arrogance was not something to show to others. It was something to keep within you. Those who assumed an air of arrogance were always viewed by Long Chen to be concealing their own feelings of inferiority. Then what do we do? We can't beat him ourselves exclaimed Luo Ning worriedly. We can only temporarily endure. Once we enter the inner academy, we'll link up with the other experts of the family. Then we can come up with a plan, said Luo Bing after a moment's thought. Ah, that's right. Long Chen, don't fight Chu Kuang head on in the future. Don't give him a chance to kill you. 
warned Luo Bing suddenly. Kill me. Long Chen was first confused, but he then smiled. It's fine. He can't kill me. Luo Bing's expression turned serious. Long Chen, I know that you're very powerful. However, you can't possibly know just how immense the Chu family's power is. Chu Kuang is so powerful right now. Once he enters the Divine Flame Realm, he will be unrivaled in his realm and can easily fight across realms. You cannot be careless. A genius like Chu Kuang must have countless resources invested in him. Who knows how many trump cards he has. You will be at a disadvantage in a head-on fight. Long Chen's power was something that Luo Bing had just witnessed. But during the fight, Long Chen hadn't dared to face Chu Kuang head-on and only dodged. Since that was the case, Luo Bing felt that Long Chen was one level weaker than Chu Kuang and might die to his hands just for face. Are you able to kill people during the divine competition? Long Chen didn't reply. Instead asking his own question. If the opponent shouts that they concede, you must immediately stop. But if they don't say anything, killing them will only result in a light punishment. So I'm worried that he... Ah, then I'm at ease. Long Chen nodded and smiled. Luo Bing and Luo Ning sighed with relief. Mistaking that smile's meaning. They still didn't understand the character of Boss Long San. Chapter 2869 Four Peak Realm Expert Long Chen lifted with his arms, and the giant boulder was pushed aside. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were then shocked to see the unfettered alliance's disciples inside of the cave behind it. This cave was now filled with people seemingly on their last breaths. They lay strewn throughout the room, almost like they were dead. Brother San, amongst all of them, only Mu Qingyan was barely able to stay awake. However, she had long since reached her limit. Her gaze was unfocused even as she looked at Long Chen. When she saw Long Chen, she let out an extremely quiet cry and slowly collapsed. With a flash, Long Chen appeared beside her, grabbing her. She then rested her head on his shoulder. Looking up at him, she smiled. Brother San, I didn't disappoint you. You did well. For you to be able to endure this long completely surpassed my expectations. But you still can't fall asleep. Maintain your consciousness. When your essence, chi, and spirit are all exhausted, all that's left to keep you going is your will. Falling unconscious is a kind of compromise with yourself. It's lowering your head. You've already endured for this long. So keep going. Your energy will quickly recover. And your mental realm will reach an entirely new level. Stand with me slowly. Use your will to move your powerless body. Let your energy reignite throughout your body. Long Chen slowly helped Mu Qingyan up. She has already severely overdrafted her power. If you force her like this, her foundation might be harmed. Luo Ning couldn't help giving a warning. It's fine. I have my calculations, said Long Chen. Mu Qingyan had absolute trust in Long Chen, relying entirely on her will. She tried to move her body. When she was standing again, she felt the world spinning around her. She almost fainted. However, she gritted her teeth, forcefully enduring. After several breaths time, the feeling of dizziness slowly faded, and she gradually began to be able to feel her weak body again. An incense sticks worth of time later, a bit of rosiness returned to her pale face Novaloon.com These two are, once she recovered, she noticed Luo Bing and Luo Ning. She suddenly cried out, these two are the alliance heads of the Immortal Institute. Mu Qingyan had met Luo Ning before. However, with the enmity between the God Institute and the Immortal Institute, they didn't have any relationship. It was only later that she learned that Luo Ning was the second in command of the Immortal Institute's number one alliance, while the true leader was her big sister. Seeing Luo Bing, Mu Qingyan instantly guessed her status. I am Luo Ning. This is my big sister Luo Bing. Luo Ning gave a quick introduction before looking at Long Chen. Long Chen, you're not very sincere. If you want to marry into my Luo family, how can you go around randomly seducing other women Ning or have some propriety Luo Bing dragged Luo Ning behind her. This little sister of hers was sometimes infuriating. She always spoke without thinking. Mu Qingyan then looked from Luo Bing and Luo Ning to Long Chen. Coming to a realization, she looked at Long Chen with hidden bitterness. Brother San, you want me to be your little sister because of them. Long Chen rolled his eyes. How had such a thing resulted in jealousy? 
Don't talk nonsense. I'm good friends with them, but I see you as a real little sister. Although he hadn't known Mu Qingyan for long, he had a certain understanding of sword cultivators. He didn't want any romantic feelings to occur between him and Mu Qingyan. If such a thing occurred, her life would probably be ruined. Hearing this, Mu Qingyan smiled. They were friends, but she was a sister. The degree of familiarity was made clear. You, Luo Ning was about to interject when Luo Bing covered her mouth. Ning Er, don't mess around. Think of a way to save the others. Luo Bing gestured to the disciples that were strewn about. They all looked to be on the verge of death. Don't touch them for now. Let them wake up naturally, said Long Chen. Brother San, what happened? Everything was going well, but then the will of the flame suddenly multiplied, almost incinerating our power, our physical power, our bloodline power, our spiritual power. They were all incinerated. We endured as best as we could, but it was too strong. We couldn't last. I remembered your words to endure. So I suppose I managed to last until you returned. But, Mu Qingyan still felt some fear toward what had just happened. Originally, they had all been enduring the broiling of the remnant wool of the heavenly flame. But when its power suddenly soared, it instantly became like a hellish torment. It was due to the heavenly flame seed causing a resonance throughout the cave system. It increased the pressure you were under. But I trust that everyone's mental realms will have advanced after such a tempering. It will be even better than what I anticipated, said Long Chen. The heavenly flame seed had been taken by him, so the will of the heavenly flame here was starting to fade. An hour later, Li Kei and the others began to awaken. When they awoke, they were incredibly weak. But Mu Qingyan had already recovered. In terms of the mental realm, she had taken an extra step compared to them. She then looked at Long Chen with increasing reverence. Everyone else looked like they had been struck by a serious illness, but she hadn't fainted and had leaped to a new level. Because of this, in her eyes, Long Chen had reached the level of omnipotence. Even Luo Bing and Luo Ning were surprised by Mu Qingyan's transformation. This practically toppled common sense. She had clearly severely overdrafted her energy. So how did she recover so quickly? Furthermore, Long Chen seemed to have expected such an illogical phenomenon. When Li Kei and the others woke up, Long Chen had everyone immediately stand and prepare to leave. Ba San, can you let us rest for a while? I feel powerless Li Kei almost cried. His body was almost numb. It didn't even feel like his own body. Don't be daft. Hurry up. If you're too slow, you won't even have your life afterward, urged Long Chen. Hence, everyone did their best to walk out. Once they were out of the cave system. Mu Qingyan took out the flying boat, and they sped off. However, they didn't go far. They stopped on a concealed mountain top and activated the flying boat's concealing formation. From here, they could clearly see Crescent Moon Valley. Long Chen, what are you doing? Asked Luo Ning. Are you waiting for Chu Kuang to come back? Guessed Luo Bing. Long Chen nodded. With Chu Kuang's character, he probably won't give up just like this. He should immediately gather his forces and return. He knows that it takes some time to take a heavenly flame seed. As long as he's fast enough, he'll have a chance to stop us. He, look, he's here. Long Chen suddenly pointed. Through the formation, they clearly saw a group rushing straight toward the heart of Crescent Moon Valley. He's flying through the air. It's a four-peak realm expert. Luo Bing couldn't help sucking in a cold gasp of air when she saw the elder at the front. Chapter 2870 Long Chen Khan's people above the mortal transcendence realm was the divine flame realm. Only once you ignited the divine flame could you use magical arts and divine abilities. However, not everyone was instantly capable of using magical arts upon entering the divine flame realm. Most ordinary disciples could only start using their magical arts in the mid-stage when they had accumulated enough divine energy. The disciples that Chu Kuang had brought with him this time might have been in the divine flame realm, but they were in the early stage, so they were unable to use divine abilities. They could only be considered one level stronger than disciples at the peak of mortal transcendence. Experts like Luo Bing and Luo Ning were able to fight many of their numbers. That was why they had been killed so easily. However, this did not signify that Divine Flame Disciples were weak. 
Once their divine energy was strong enough to use magical arts, disciples in the mortal transcendence realm would have great difficulty fighting across realms. Above the divine flame realm was the even more frightening four peak realm. As for why it was called the four peak realm, Long Chen had not managed to read any texts pertaining to that. All he knew was that the easiest way to recognize four peak experts was that they were able to fly through the air. The group that Chu Kuang was bringing over this time had an elder flying through the air. His face was strange. It was like he was wearing a human mask and didn't want to reveal his true face. Chu Kuang really is vicious. He even managed to utilize an elder level expert. If we were still inside the caves, we would have been doomed, said Luo Ning. Long Chen, if you knew that he would return, why didn't you hurry up? Any slower and we would have been caught. Long Chen had actually been in the mood to chat with them after taking the heavenly flame seed. He had been completely unhurried, but he seemed to have expected Chu Kuang to return. Although his prediction was accurate, this was too dangerous. What if Chu Kuang had returned just a moment earlier? Wouldn't they have died miserable deaths inside? Long Chen shook his head and smiled. Since I dared to bring the unfettered alliance out, then considering that all their lives have been entrusted to me, how could I not arrange for their protection? Unlike the rest of you, I killed my way out of countless dangers in the lower world. One mistake might have cost me everything. That's why I rarely put myself in actual danger. I set up multiple barriers on the path here. If anyone or any powerful beasts pass through, it will immediately alert me. Long Chen revealed a palm-sized formation disc. This alarm system cost me over 20,000 immortal crystals. I kept track of Chu Kuang leaving and his return. There are over 10 barriers to sense people passing through. So I was very clear on how far he was. I don't rely on luck to live. The reason I could live until now is because I'm afraid of dying enough to be careful. In truth, coming out this time had been dangerous due to how big their movement was. Long Chen's main concern had been Chu Kuang learning of it and arranging to attack them in secret. After all. There were too many members of the Unfettered Alliance. For Chu Kuang to have eyes inside of it was very normal. But unexpectedly, Chu Kuang's focus had been on Luo Bing and Luo Ning. So he hadn't had time to think of them. However, these arrangements that Long Chen had set up ended up being useful anyway. Crescent Moon Valley faced the Academy. So Chu Kuang wouldn't possibly go all the way around considering that he was in a rush. Furthermore. He definitely didn't expect Long Chen to have set up sentries in hidden places. Hearing this, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, Li Kei, and the others were all amazed. It seemed that Long Chen had everything under control. Through the formation, they watched as Chu Kuang led hundreds of people to seal the exit. These experts were all in the mid-divine flame realm, with some being in the late stage. All of them were in a combat-ready state. Chu Kuang was shouting something but they could only see what he was doing through the formation. They couldn't hear him, but they could guess that he was telling his men not to let a single fly past them. The current Chu Kuang was hairless, and his face was covered in bloody burns. This was the wound left behind by the heavenly flame, so it couldn't be healed immediately. Furthermore, even if he could heal it, his hair wouldn't grow out that fast. After shouting at them, he and the elder entered the cave system with just over 10 people most likely to search for Long Chen and the others. Let's go. If they find that we're gone, they might search the surroundings and find us, said Luo Bing once the four peak expert was gone. Leave? No, it's not over yet. Let me invite you to watch a good play, said Long Chen. Everyone was startled, but seeing that Long Chen didn't seem to want to explain, they simply quietly watched. Time passed slowly. Luo Bing and Luo Ning looked at each other feeling a chill run through them. Long Chen seemed to be brewing some kind of trap. After that, a full incense stick's worth of time passed without anything happening. The silence was a bit scary. Even the disciples guarding the exit were starting to grow impatient. Why was it that nothing had happened after all this time? He, Long Chen suddenly laughed, his laughter sounding a bit sinister. Mu Qingyan and the others looked at him in confusion. But before they could ask what was happening, an explosion shook the land beneath their feet. At the center of Crescent Moon Valley, where the cave was located, red flames exploded out of the land and into the heavens. 
It was a giant pillar of lava. The force of the explosion sent those disciples flying, but the lava then flowed toward them like a tide. Scared out of their wits, they fled. They didn't know what just happened. Had a volcano exploded? One disciple was flattened by a flying boulder that struck him like a meteorite. Any fragment of him was instantly incinerated without a trace. How can this be? Luo Bing covered her mouth, staring in horror. She looked at Long Chen, only to see him smiling like a wily fox that had stolen a chicken as he watched these disciples fleeing for their lives. The raging lava quickly covered the land, and those disciples couldn't possibly outrun it. No matter how they struggled, they were devoured by the flames. The middle and late stage Divine Flame Disciples didn't immediately die when they were devoured by the lava, but the power of their Divine Flames couldn't possibly block the lava for more than a brief moment. Furthermore, they were unable to fly away. Some Disciples were covered in fire as they fled as fast as they could, but they were still caught up by the lava. After their Divine Flames were exhausted, they were turned into nothingness. Li Kei and the others were horrified as they watched and cold sweat dripped down their backs. Mu Qingyan almost turned away, unable to watch. Long Chen looked at her. Do you pity them? Chapter 2871 Flame Setting Divine Bead They Are Innocent. Mu Qingyan nodded. She couldn't help feeling this way as she watched those people scream before their deaths. Long Chen turned serious. You are wrong. I'm going to give you all another lesson right now. When you face your enemies. There is no such thing as innocent people. You pity them now. But if that eruption hadn't occurred, when we fled from them, they would chase us down without hesitation and raise their butcher's blade against us. If we were just killed, then that would be one thing. But the female disciples would have to face a torment worse than death before dying. Do you think that they will let you off because you pity them? Do you think that they will consider you innocent? Are you still in the mood to pity others? Long Chen's gaze grew colder and colder until it sounded absolutely callous and merciless. Hearing this, Mu Qingyan didn't know how to reply. Luo Bing looked at her and said, Long Chen is right. You haven't experienced that kind of cruel slaughter before, so you have no idea about the reality of the cultivation world. You never know just how frightening the dark side of humanity is. Don't think that just because you have no grievance with Chu Kuang that he won't do anything to you. Even if it was just for us, he would kill you to keep you quiet. You lack that foresight because you haven't experienced the cruel battlefield and bloody slaughter. To pity your enemies because of something that hasn't happened yet is very foolish. It will not only harm yourself but also those that trust you. That is why Long Chen is angry with what you just said. Luo Bing and Luo Ning were different from the others. Although they were young and their experiences were limited. The Luo family's teachings toward its disciples were very stringent. Before they set foot into the world of cultivation, the Luo family had shown them the bloody scenes of their fight against the Chu family, as well as the Chu family's endless despicable tricks. Their first lesson in the family was not to have any mercy for their enemies. That would only harm themselves and their family. It might even implicate the entire family. That was why Luo Bing and Luo Ning approved of Long Chen's words. Not ridiculing Mu Qingyan was already being courteous. This was the common sense of the cultivation world. But Mu Qingyan and the others actually didn't understand this. Brother San, I was wrong. Mu Qingyan hastily apologized when she saw Long Chen's expression. Long Chen waved his hand, shaking his head. Perhaps the path of your life so far has been too smooth. That is not a good thing. The sooner you suffer, the better. Otherwise. Once you do suffer, it might be so great that you don't even have a chance to absorb the lesson. Long Chen sighed. This was truly a group of flowers that had grown up inside a greenhouse. The world that Long Chen had experienced wasn't something that they could imagine. Sometimes cruel reality was the best teacher. The miracle medicine that could catalyze a person's growth. Long Chen suddenly felt that he might have to thank his overwhelming bad luck for his current accomplishments. That was what had tempered him early on. If he was like these disciples and had grown up in an environment where his safety was guaranteed, perhaps he wouldn't be much stronger than them. Thinking of that, his anger diminished. Seeing Mu Qingyan staring at him, seemingly in fright, he sighed. I'll only tell you this once. I hope you can remember these words in your heart. 
If you make a mistake in strategic decision making because you want to be kind, just getting yourself killed would be getting off easy. More likely, you would cause the deaths of the people you care about, and then you'd spend the rest of your life in regret and pain. You can't imagine just how terrifying such a feeling is. Brother San, have you ever made a similar mistake? Asked Mu Qingyan curiously. Long Chen's gaze instantly darkened. He thought of the final battle of the Martial Heaven Continent. Although he hadn't really made any mistakes, he still felt like he could have done better. But he wouldn't have that chance. Every time he thought of that, he felt unbearable. It seemed that it had become a heart devil. Brother San, sorry. Seeing that pain in Long Chen's gaze, Mu Qingyan's heart shuddered. She immediately apologized. That gaze was full of pain. It was just a look, but Mu Qingyan felt it clearly. She instantly realized that she had just poked one of Long Chen's scars. Long Chen was about to speak when his expression changed. He turned around, almost in disbelief. Not dead even after all that. Long Chen looked through the flying boat's formation. He saw two figures flying out of the erupting volcano. It was Chu Kuang and the Four Peak Elder. The Elder had a glowing bead in his hand. Its light pierced through the lava. Flame setting divine bead. No wonder. Long Chen instantly understood when he saw that glowing bead. So the Elder had come prepared with the fire attribute treasure. Once activated, it formed a special space around it. Protecting whoever was inside from flame energy. However. Just as they charged out of the eruption, the flame-setting divine bead exploded. Chu Kuang let out a cry. He was too close to the lava, and his body was instantly set ablaze. The Four Peak Elder wasn't much better off. His hair was instantly incinerated, leaving him bald. He suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. After that, he waved his hand, and his blood transformed into a strange diagram. The Elder then dragged Chu Kuang into the diagram and the two of them instantly vanished, reappearing far away from the lava. With the elder dragging Chu Kuang along, they instantly vanished. They were all that remained of their party. The rest had been consumed by the lava. How regretful. That little fellow's life is quite tough. Long Chen shook his head. Originally, he had thought that this would be enough to kill them, but they had still escaped. Luo Bing and the others felt a chill, without even bloodying his blade. Long Chen almost wiped out his enemies. If that Four Peak Elder hadn't had a flame-setting divine bead, he would probably have been conned to death as well. Now when they looked at Long Chen, there was reverence but also fear. He was truly a frightful existence. Just a single late-stage divine flame expert would be enough to wipe them out. But Long Chen had just killed hundreds of mid- and late-stage divine flame experts. As for the Four Peak Elder, to them, he was an unreachable existence. They didn't even have the bravery to face him. It could be said that Chu Kuang had definitely brought a huge tool to solve a tiny problem this time. But despite that, he still almost lost his life. Long Chen, I know it might be wrong to ask you this, but I'm really curious. How did you do this? I'm begging you to tell me. Otherwise, I won't be able to die in peace. Luo Ning hesitated a long time before finally being unable to contain her curiosity. Everyone else's ears also perked up. This was the question they all wanted to know the answer to. Even a four-peak elder had been almost killed. How did he do this? Chapter 2872 The cause and effect don't look at me. I'm not such a sinister person. How could I do something like harming people from the same academy as me? Long Chen shrugged. Acting like the very picture of a good person who absolutely wouldn't do something so evil. I really look down on you. Luo Ning couldn't help cursing at him. For these words to come out of Long Chen's mouth, not even an idiot would believe them. If you have to look down on me, then fine. In any case, I'm a good child. I've never done anything bad. Long Chen shook his head. There were too many people here. Who knew whether or not there were spies amongst them? Such a thing could not be admitted to. That way, no one could do anything to him. The truth was that when he had decided not to take the flame throne, which gave birth to the companion or, he suddenly had a thought. Just because he was unwilling to destroy such a natural treasure didn't mean that others were unwilling as well. He then thought of Chu Kuang. If Chu Kuang came again, he would very likely take this natural treasure. Then wouldn't Long Chen have benefited him? 
If Long Chen didn't take it but someone else took it, that would definitely irritate him. After a moment's thought, he set up an explosive formation disc below the throne. He knew that the throne was connected to the magma line down below. Otherwise, such a tiny place couldn't possibly give birth to a heavenly flame and its companion or this cave was nothing more than the tip of the iceberg of the underground magma world. Considering the heat of the lava, this explosive formation disc would stay functional for at most three days before losing effect. This whole plan was something that Long Chen had to thank the Elder in the Divine Scripture Pavilion for. People should really read more books. Otherwise, he wouldn't have known about the underground magma line nor the time limit for the formation disc's effective power. Reading more books could only be beneficial. He had arranged this before coming up, but he hadn't told anyone. When he saw that Chu Kuang really was returning with others, he almost laughed. This fellow was cooperating with his plan perfectly. The huge explosion was something that even Long Chen hadn't expected. But that four peak elder had actually managed to escape after that. Now, Long Chen had a clearer understanding of the power of a four peak expert. Luo Bing held Luo Ning back from continuing her line of questioning. The answer to this question was not necessarily something good to know. After a while, Mu King Gaian activated the flying boat and they flew over Crescent Moon Valley one time. The lava had stopped spurting, but the valley was now submerged. Smoke roiled out of the surroundings, and the immense heat set the mountains ablaze. As the forest around this place possessed powerful life energy, the fire shouldn't spread very far. The mountains in this mountain range that weren't covered in lava should also be fine. They looked at all the destruction and then at Long Chen. Although he refused to admit anything, Everyone knew that he had definitely done this. Brother San, big sister King Gaian wants you at the front. Didn't you want to learn how to control the flying boat? Long Chen had his eyes closed, and his mind was in the primal chaos space, watching Huo Long absorb the power of the heavenly flame seed. It was then that Zhang Ling ran over to him. When did I? Oh, I remember. Long Chen suddenly understood. He had never asked to learn how to control the flying boat. But the front of the flying boat was a special space that could block the sound from outside. Long Chen then walked in. It was only Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and Mu King Gaian here. Long Chen knew that his guess was right. What? Are you planning on interrogating me? Have you prepared the torture instruments? Let me tell you, I'm a real man. I'm not afraid of any torture. But if you use a honey trap, I might not be able to resist. Is that what you're planning? Asked Long Chen solemnly. Nice idea. Now there are no outsiders. Tell us what happened. Said Luo Ning directly. Then are you saying that everyone here is an insider? One. Asked Long Chen. His mood was excellent today. Good enough for him to start joking. TCH. How shameless. Your ambition is quite big. Are you not afraid of dying if you dual cultivate with so many people? Demanded Luo Ning. What's dual cultivation? Why would I die? Long Chen was startled. He was unfamiliar with the concept of dual cultivation in the immortal world. Dual cultivation is just as Luo Ning was about to explain. Luo Bing pushed her. Foolish girl. He's taking advantage of you. Women can't say such things. There's no saving you. Seeing Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and Mu King Gaian blushing, Long Chen had a general guess about what dual cultivation was but there had to be some difference between that and normal matters between a man and woman, or there wouldn't be a danger of dying. My primary goal was to penalize those who go to such extremes as to destroy natural wonders. I had no intention of conning anyone. Chu Kuang has done countless evil things, so that was the heavens punishing him. It had nothing to do with me. When Long Chen explained what happened, the five of them laughed. Chu Kuang was truly unlucky. He didn't find who he was looking for nor the heavenly flame seed, but he did almost lose his life. Those disciples that he had brought with him this time were trusted people of the Chu family. Some were directly related to the Chu family, and the others were from subordinate powers. It could be said that the Chu family truly had an enormous network within the High Firmament Academy. For Chu Kuang to have lost so many inner academy disciples this time, he probably would have to give some explanation to the academy. This was no small matter. Furthermore, 
Even if the families of those who had died didn't make a fuss, this loss was enough to keep the Chu family busy for a while. Chu Kuang might even receive a harsh punishment. His luck was truly bad this time. An almost guaranteed plan had been ruined twice due to Long Chen, causing almost complete whippets for his side. He himself was badly injured. Luo Ning even guessed that Chu Kuang might just die from anger. She sighed inside. Chu Kuang had tricked everyone with his act, but he hadn't tricked Long Chen. Chu Kuang was truly sinister, but he was also calculating and cautious. Unfortunately, his plans were child's play in front of Long Chen. Long Chen had played him in the palm of his hand and had almost taken his life without even needing to use a blade. Hence, they profoundly felt just how frightening Long Chen was. They blessed their fortune that he was a friend, not an enemy. Otherwise, they would feel like this world had turned dark. When they returned to the High Firmament Academy, as soon as they stepped off of the flying boat, the sky suddenly darkened. Without any warning, a giant net fell upon them. One. This word for insider also means my wife. Chapter 2873 Unbound by laws or rules this sudden attack came without any warning. It was a kind of formation. Once it was activated, space instantly froze. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others were enveloped by a ray of divine light. Runes bound them, making them unable to move. As for Long Chen, the instant that the light appeared, he instinctively retreated. He had no time to warn the others. The net fell, its strings moving like serpents, wrapping around everyone. Other than Long Chen, everyone else was caught Novaloon.com Long Chen's heart shook. He suddenly realized that something was off. This was a place where flying boats were constantly coming and going. But now, it was empty. He suddenly understood that Chu Kuang's background was even greater than he had expected. Chu Kuang had actually managed to empty such a large and busy space in order to set up a trap for him. The Chu family was actually able to act so brazenly within the God Institute. All of a sudden, a hand silently reached toward Long Chen, and a vortex of space appeared around him, slowing him down. This was a terrifying four-peak expert. With space in flux, he blocked all of Long Chen's escape paths. Long Chen was shocked and infuriated. The Chu family really didn't care about any laws or rules. They actually prepared a sneak attack for him here. In the face of this terrifying existence, he couldn't dodge. He either let himself be captured, or he fought with his life on the line. Since the other side dared to attack him so openly here, it was very possible that they intended to kill him as well. Then they would fabricate some accusations against him. As a flame lotus suddenly appeared on Long Chen's palm. The locking force lessened against him, and he temporarily regained his freedom. He spun, his hand slamming toward his back. He then managed to see his attacker. It was a gloomy elder who had triangular eyes and a face covered in pockmarks. The elder was surprised to see that Long Chen was able to move under his pressure. Just at that moment, the lotus flower on Long Chen's palm flew off. Boom. Flames exploded, unleashing giant ripples in space. After that, he ignited the air. Long Chen felt like his hand had struck hard iron. His palm quivered painfully, and his wrist was dislocated. An immense force then sent him flying. As for the pockmarked elder, he was forced back three steps in the air. His palm was ignited by the flames and the sharp pain shocked him. Old bastard. Just wait. Long Chen's sleeve had been blasted apart. Everyone could see rage and killing intent blazing in his eyes. You slaughtered fellow members of the academy. Now you're offending your superiors as well, refusing to submit to your trial. There is no saving you. You can simply die. The pockmarked elder also had killing intent in his eyes. He stepped toward Long Chen. However, just as he moved, lightning erupted beneath Long Chen's feet, and he jumped onto the flying boat. The door hadn't been closed because normally there were people guarding the flying boats to prevent anyone without permission from taking them. Long Chen rushed to the control panel and slammed his hand on a red button. You dare. Countless runes lit up on the flying boat, making the elder's expression completely change. Long Chen was actually unleashing all the power of the flying boat into a single attack. However, that attack wasn't aimed at him but at the transportation formation. Is there anything in this world that Boss Long San doesn't dare to do? As Long Chen spoke, 
a ray of light shot out of the flying boat straight toward the transportation formation. Boom. The transportation formation instantly exploded. Rubble and fragmented runes flew through the air. This kind of minor transportation formation was so common in the academy that they numbered in the thousands. They were provided to the disciples to save time coming and going through the academy. They didn't have much defensive power, so it was instantly destroyed. The instant that the formation was destroyed, the entire academy shuddered. Alarms rang out. Just an instant later, the void twisted and countless figures appeared. The High Firmament Academy's transportation formations were all connected to a grand formation underground. With one destroyed, the alarm instantly drew the experts of the Academy. These experts emitted terrifying auras. In front of them, these disciples were as insignificant as ants. It was like a single gaze from them could wipe the disciples out. Damn. So the High Firmament Academy's foundation is truly frightening even Long Chen was shocked. The people that were appearing were all exceedingly terrifying existences above this four-peak elder. Furthermore, they all looked to still be middle-aged with powerful blood chi. They were like kings looking down on them. These experts had grave and serious expressions as if they were prepared to face powerful enemies. They were already ready for battle. But when they looked around, they didn't see any powerful enemies. They only saw a group of trapped outer academy disciples. What is going on here? demanded one of them. He gloomily glared at the pockmarked elder. His tone was not at all courteous. Instead, it seemed enraged. Senior, it was the pockmarked elder was also terrified. He pointed at Long Chen, casting the responsibility onto him. I was the one who broke the transportation formation and drew seniors of the battle god palace out. I know that seniors are busy fighting in the devil domain and I know that those who are resting in the academy are recuperating from their wounds. I shouldn't disturb your recuperation, but there is someone so despicable that he is ignoring the academy's rules to kill me and then cover it up. My cultivation base is too low to beat this bastard, but I'm also unwilling to just be killed. Thus, I could only come up with such a plan to make this matter bigger and have the higher-ups handle it and find justice for me. Long Chen cupped his fists toward the man. That man was startled, and he stared at Long Chen closely. He saw Long Chen's tattered black robes, as well as the instructor plate on his waist. Such a combination was curious. He suddenly laughed and nodded. I understand. Senior, don't listen to his nonsense. He slaughtered innocent members of the academy. I the pockmarked elder was shocked to hear such a thing. He knew just how terrifying these people's statuses were. If they believed Long Chen then things would be over for him. Shut up. Another person in the air shouted. Do you think that we're as blind as you? We're already clear on what kind of person this little fellow is. Because we're all the same. Mu Qingyan and the others were still unable to move. But they were stunned to see such powerful experts descend. These terrifying existences said that Long Chen was the same as them? What was that? Where is the head of the Discipline Institute? Come out. Shouted that person his voice resounding throughout the academy. Chapter 2874 Devil Domain That person's voice was like thunder through the air. Echoes continued to ring out, spreading further and further. With such a huge disturbance, countless experts of the God Institute were rushing over. But when they saw those experts in the air, they all had reverent expressions. Suddenly, the void shuddered and a figure appeared. This was also a middle-aged man but one of his sleeves blew in the breeze. He was missing an arm. The pockmarked elder's expression suddenly grew exceedingly ugly. He was filled with terror. Others might not recognize the middle-aged man, but he knew that this was the head judge of the Discipline Institute. Other than the Institute head, he was the one with the greatest authority in the Discipline Institute. There were three positions below the Institute head with the greatest authority. If there was a major trial, the three of them could make a decision that could even overturn the institute head's opinion. This person was the head of those three positions. His status was extremely high, but he came out with just a roar from one of these experts. Junior brother Wang Chong greets senior apprentice brothers Han Fang, said the head judge bowing toward that man. It seemed as if the two were old acquaintances. That's Han Fang looked at the head judge, and a trace of sorrow appeared in his eyes. Brother. After just a few years, the sharpness in your eyes has vanished. 
It's painful thinking of the days we fought alongside each other, the head judge nodded. Cultivating is like rowing a boat against the flow. If you don't advance, you recede. I've managed to fully expel the devil poison over these years, but my Deo heart is already covered in dust. I can no longer regain my old sharpness, but seeing all my senior apprentice brothers as fierce as ever is comforting. Han Fung walked over to the head judge and patted his shoulder forcefully. It's all right. There are millions of paths in life. Every single one can manifest different wonders. I called you today because of this junior brother's matter. I trust that you will be able to exact a fair accounting for this. The battle in the devil domain is pressing, and we have to leave soon. I also wanted to see you before leaving. Who knows whether or not any of us will live to return. I'm glad to have seen you again. The devil domain. The head judge was startled. Zhan Feng raised his hand. This isn't the place to talk about it. I leave things here to you. Senior apprentice brother Zhan Feng. Be at ease. Promised the head judge. Zhan Feng nodded. After that, his figure vanished. Reappearing in front of Long Chen. He looked at him. His gaze as sharp as a sword. It was as if he could see through a person's soul. Your sword. It is rusty. Perhaps it's a kind of settling. But the corrosion will not reach my true heart. Replied Long Chen. Zhan Feng nodded. With a faint smile. He also patted Long Chen's shoulder. A real man doesn't need to learn how to conceal their light. The stronger you are. The more responsibility you bear. Junior brother. Don't slack. Grow up quickly. A dragon must soar. How can it muddle with a bunch of mudfish? Junior brother understands. Long Chen nodded. This Han Feng was a true expert just like the Divine Lightning Elder. He was an expert that had killed his way out of mountains of corpses. This was why they were the same. This was why when Long Chen asked for their help, they directly called out the head judge. Han Feng nodded, and his figure vanished once more. The other experts then cut their fists toward the head judge and also left. One of them said to Long Chen, Junior brother, don't waste time here. Men should go to an even more marvelous world. They all vanished just like that, stunning the disciples. To vanish into the void, that was spatial energy. Even four peak experts weren't capable of it. What is going on? The head judge's gaze swept over the crowd and fell onto the pockmarked elder, reporting. This junior received a report that Long Chen maliciously slaughtered hundreds of disciples from the academy. His crimes are cruel and endless. This junior set up a trap here to capture him in order to investigate this matter clearly, said the pockmarked elder. Tell the truth. Was it to capture and investigate, or to kill and keep the truth quiet? The dead can't testify, right? Sneered Long Chen. How dare you spout your nonsense here? As an elder of the Discipline Institute, I don't even have the authority to punish you. How could I kill you? Raged the elder. What a joke. When did the Discipline Institute start acting so sneakily? Said Long Chen disdainfully. This matter is too big, and you can't be allowed to run away after committing such crimes. The Discipline Institute would be blamed for such a thing. Quibbled the pockmarked elder. Even as the two of them made their statements, the head judge simply listened not saying anything, because this matter is too big, do you take me for a fool, you dare to lie in front of the head judge, demanded Long Chen scornfully, how did I lie, all you do is slander others to cover up for yourself, raged the pockmarked elder, but this rage was faked since Long Chen saw terror in his eyes, that made him confident, since Han Feng had left things to the head judge, the latter would definitely make an impartial ruling, the pockmarked elder's panicked way of casting suspicion off of himself was enough to show that this was not part of his expectations. Long Chen sneered inside. As expected, this kind of person didn't have much intelligence. They were truly mudfish. When fighting with them, victory didn't mean anything. It was nothing worth being proud of. Hence, Zhan Feng didn't wish for Long Chen to waste his precious time on them. However, Long Chen knew himself. In the immortal world, he had no backer and no foundation, so he had to build a solid foundation first. He had no one in the immortal world that he could trust, so he had to rely on himself for everything. Only once he had made a solid foundation for himself could he truly reveal his sharpness. Otherwise, a large tree with no roots would only be in greater danger the bigger it grew. A single gust of wind would rip it up. 
Now was not the time to reveal himself. You say that I'm slandering you. Then let me ask you. Since capturing people is the job of the law enforcement hall, when did it become the duty of the Discipline Institute to directly attack others? Is that part of the rules? Don't say that there wasn't enough time to report it. Your only responsibility is to report it. Whether or not the law enforcement hall can do their job is entirely outside of your jurisdiction and not your responsibility. Normally, your discipline institute is so inefficient that you barely keep up. Why is it that you're in such a rush when it comes to me? Is it that you're willing to go all out after getting paid off by Chu Kuang? Sneered Long Chen. You, you're simply slandering others. The pockmarked elder's face turned purple. The head judge's presence put him under immense pressure, and all the fear inside of him was dragged out by Long Chen. It was clear to everyone. Tell Chu Kuang to come. We're opening the first grade trial hall. The head judge's expression was cold. His orders caused a resounding bell to ring throughout the God Institute. The sound of that bell caused the terror in the pockmarked elder's eyes to grow even denser. His body even began to quiver. Chapter 2875 Trial The first grade trial hall was rarely activated in the God Institute. It had been decades since the last time. Only extremely important trials were conducted here. And in order to hold a trial here, the head judge and the other two magistrates must attend. Furthermore, the first grade trial hall was not just open to the God Institute but also to anyone within the High Firmament Academy. They could all watch justice be carried out. At this moment, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, Mu Qingyan, and the others all arrived with Long Chen. They instantly felt a harsh and solemn air pour over them. Looking from outside, the first grade trial hall looked to only be a few hundred meters wide. But upon entering, it was a giant space. As soon as they entered, they saw two sacred statues. The two statues were thousands of meters tall. They were two dignified elders. One held a book, while the other held a ruler. The ruler had a scale carved into it, and it emitted a sharp air that gave people chills. Both the book and ruler were covered in countless runes, and every rune was like a mirror that reflected the wickedness inside a person's heart. As soon as they entered this place, the unfettered alliance's disciples grew pale. They found it difficult to breathe here. Luo Bing, Luo Ning and Mu Qingyan were a bit better off. They only felt a bit of pressure. As for Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu, they seemed to not feel anything. Looking at Li Kei covered in sweat, Long Chen cursed. Just look at your morality. With just a glance, it's clear that you've done quite a few shameful things. These two statues possessed the power to question the inner heart. Even before those runes were fully activated, they possessed this power. If they were activated, it would be very difficult for anyone to lie in front of them. Boss San, have you never done anything bad? Li Kei couldn't help asking when he saw Long Chen was completely at ease. I've done plenty of bad things, said Long Chen indifferently. Then Boss San, how can you resist the pressure of the divine statues? Can you teach us? Otherwise, I'm afraid. Li Kei and the others were all uneasy. These two statues were like heavenly executioners. Once the questioning started, they were afraid that every bad thing that they had ever done since their childhood would be exposed. I've already told you, if you're going to do bad things, just don't make it go against your own morals. Doing bad things isn't bad. As long as you don't do them to good people, it's fine. That's why I've done countless bad things, but my heart is still at peace, said Long Chen. Damn, Long Chen's heart suddenly shuddered. When he walked into the center of the hall, the space around him changed, and he saw tens of thousands of people sitting there. There was a sea of people. Furthermore, all of these people had high status in the academy. Otherwise, they wouldn't be qualified to be here. Those tens of thousands of people were all silent. The only sound was Long Chen and the others' footsteps. Li Kei and the others were all pale. They had never experienced such a thing. Every single person watching was a giant figure to them. In fact, some disciples could spend years in the academy cultivating without having a chance to meet a single one of them. Li Kei suddenly felt like his legs were no longer his own. He forgot how to walk. Long Chen clapped him on the back of his head and cursed. Are you getting a seizure? What are you doing? If the heavens collapse, I will hold them up. What are you so nervous about? 
Don't you dare tell others in the future that I taught you or I'll be ashamed. Only once he spoke did he realize that this place had a special formation to transmit his voice throughout the crowd. Everyone heard him. The surrounding people stared at him, dumbfounded. Even in such a grave setting, Long Chen was still so unrestrained. The rumors they had heard about him seemed accurate. However, some of them also felt a new level of respect for him. This trial room didn't just have the divine statues with the ability to question a person's heart, but there were also so many experts staring at them. An ordinary person couldn't remain as calm as Long Chen. Li Ke and the others finally relaxed when they arrived at their own seats at the center. They could finally sit. Only Long Chen, the main character, walked straight forward to the end. Being at the front, he saw three eye-catching positions. The center position was the largest, most imposing one. He sat down there, but as soon as he did, the deathly silent room erupted. Long Chen, that's not our seat. Luo Bing waved at Long Chen. She had actually gestured to him about where to go, but he hadn't paid any attention to it. Oh, before Long Chen even had a chance to stand, three beams of light appeared. A white-robed elder then showed up in each of the chairs beside him. After that, in front of him appeared the head judge. He stared at Long Chen oddly. Oh, I'm sorry. Only then did Long Chen come to a realization that he might be in the wrong spot. He got up and ran over to Luo Bing's side. You really are a fool. Are you trying to fight over the position of the head judge? Luo Ning stared at him speechlessly. This fellow was completely undependable. If they ended up offending the head judge, they would truly be doomed. Can you blame me? It's not like their names are written on them. Grumble Long Chen. As the plaintiff, wouldn't it make sense for his seat to be different? Are you a pig? That seat is so high and wide. Is your butt that big? Even if you used your foot to think. Wouldn't it be obvious that that's not our spot? Demanded Luo Ning. Are you saying that whoever butts bigger has a bigger say in the academy? Then according to your logic, the great dean will definitely be even wider. So wide that he might not even fit through the door scoffed Long Chen. Even before he was done speaking, Luo Bing covered his mouth. Despite being a refined woman, she had an urge to sew Long Chen's mouth up. The two of them had actually forgotten that everything they were saying during their argument was being transmitted clearly to everyone's ears. Long Chen had actually even drawn the dean into it. That was practically an insult to the dean. The onlookers were turned into wooden puppets by Long Chen's words. This little fellow truly had guts. He even dared to talk nonsense about the dean. The head judge's expression also grew odd and then casually glanced at an unremarkable spot. After that. His face grew severe. If you dare to spout nonsense in the trial hall, you will be expelled from the academy. Long Chen was immediately at ease to hear that. He was grateful to him inside. The head judge was going to brush this matter away. Hold it. Long Chen insulted the dean. He has damaged the prestige of the High Firmament Academy. According to the rules, he needs at least 50 lashes of the fire whip. Head judge, are you being biased? shouted one of the magistrates to the side. He was an elder with a large scar on his face. Long Chen narrowed his eyes, instantly guessing that this old fellow was part of the Chu family's people. He also understood why the head judge would cause such a giant ruckus over this matter. Thinking of that, he smiled. It seemed that a good show was about to start. Chapter 2876 Magistrate apologizes before the head judge could say anything. Long Chen sneered. When did I insult the dean? Just what kind of figure was Long Chen? What kind of play had he not seen before? This old fellow's hostility toward him was already crystal clear to him. Shut up. This is the trial hall. When we haven't permitted you to speak, you cannot randomly interject yourself. Barked the other elder. Oh, it wasn't just one but two? The Chu family was truly powerful. Long Chen was surprised. Luo Bing pulled on Long Chen indicating to him to calm down. As long as he didn't leave evidence to be used against him, this could pass easily. But if he was provoked into beating people here, no one could save him. However, Long Chen ignored her prompting. Looking at the elder, he sneered. You're joking. This is the trial hall. But has the head judge announced that the trial has started? Since the trial hasn't started, why can't others talk? What? Because your butt is bigger. Only you can let out farts but others can't talk. 
Long Chen. Luo Bing turned pale with fright. Long Chen's guts were so big that he even dared to call out this elder. It had to be known that those two elders were magistrates, a position that was only the slightest bit lower than the head judges. Long Chen dared to call his words farts? He was intentionally antagonizing him? They really were doomed now. Luo Bing and Luo Ning shuddered. Did Long Chen not want his life anymore? Despite knowing not to laugh and suppressing it quickly, a few awkward chuckles rang out from the observers. Although it was quickly pulled back, the atmosphere grew extremely odd. Those who had come here were all those with extremely high statuses. But with just a few words, Long Chen cajoled them into laughter. How brazen, Long Chen, you dare to insult me, raged the elder. He was just about to pronounce him guilty. Give it up. The trial hasn't even started. Our statuses are the same right now. According to the Academy's rules, Chapter 7 of the Trial Section, the 21st clause and the 9th paragraph, clearly states, all trials will be impartial. The law is equally applied to all people. No one may provoke the trial judge's dignity. Those who use insulting language will have their skin flayed as a warning. Outside of the trial, all people are equal with equal rights. Punishment cannot be carried out due to anger or selfish reasons. Long Chen began to recite an entire section of the ruler book. The experts present were surprised. Long Chen was actually so clear on the academy's rules. Hence, their respect for him rose. Through this, those two elders' expressions sank. Not one of Long Chen's words was off. This exceeded their expectations. It had to be known that the laws of the academy were not a mandatory lesson for disciples let alone a newcomer like Long Chen. Even some elders were not so clear on these convoluted laws. The rules were mandatory lessons to everyone, but the laws were different, especially some laws like the finer details of how trials were carried out. Only a few people knew of these things. The only reason that all the experts present knew that Long Chen was correct was due to the expression of those two elders. Seeing their shock, Long Chen sneered inside. He had known that spending that time reading about these laws would come in useful in the future noveloon.com in the Divine Scripture Pavilion. Long Chen had specifically read through the God Institute's laws just to avoid unwittingly falling into someone else's trap. He also foresaw that he would be a regular of the trial hall. As expected, he could now use what he had learned here. All right, the trial has not formally started. You can freely defend your point, said the elder without any anger. However, he then coldly said, that doesn't change that it is an incontestable fact that you insulted the dean. What do you say to that? Long Chen suddenly stood and pointed at the elder righteously. As a magistrate, you must use neutral language and not pass judgment before trial. You can't look at things from your personal point of view but from a spectator's point of view. Only then can you be neutral and clearly distinguish right and wrong but you immediately started using accusatory language and arguing with me. That shows that you already view me as guilty before the trial has even begun. You must first apologize to me. Otherwise, I will report to the dean that the Discipline Institute's magistrates have gravely failed to live up to their duty. Their job is to find justice, but they act with injustice, ruining the very foundation of the High Firmament Academy. Long Chen continued with a lengthy description his mouth like a torrent. Even the slip of a single word had caused this elder to be described by Long Chen as a spy trying to topple the academy. Hence, the elder was green with anger. He had never dreamed that a youngster could be so difficult to deal with. Just due to a word, he was caught. Head judge, according to the God Institute's laws, if a plaintiff meets unjust circumstances while defending themselves, in order to avoid any miscarriage of justice, they have the right to ask for a higher level trial. This old fellow has determined that I'm guilty before the trial has even begun. If he does not apologize to me, I will immediately demand a change in the trial. I ask that the head judge help me apply for this. Long Chen cupped his fists toward the head judge. The head judge's expression didn't change, but there was a trace of admiration in his eyes. He also hadn't expected Long Chen to be so tough. There were several times that he wanted to laugh, but he managed to endure it. On the other hand, the other two wore extremely ugly expressions, especially the one whose mouth had ended up catching himself. He wanted to crush Long Chen in his palm. However, 
Long Chen was familiar with the Academy's laws, and he was truly correct. According to those laws, he had the right to switch trials. There was only one person higher than them in the Discipline Institute. It was not the Institute head, it was the Dean. If this matter disturbed the Dean, the consequences would be unimaginable. Hence, the Elder thickened his face, stood, and bowed ever so slightly to Long Chen. I was wrong. Due to your words offending the dean that I respect most in my heart, I said some regrettable words. I apologize. Mu Qingyan, Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and the other disciples of the Unfettered Alliance were dumbstruck, unable to believe what they were seeing. Long Chen had actually forced that high and lofty magistrate to bow and apologize to him? Had the world gone mad? Or had they? Ah, fine. Since you're so sincere, I won't quibble with you. Long Chen waved his hand like a magnanimous person who wouldn't quibble with a petty little person. He then returned to his own seat. Everyone was staring at him. They didn't recall a single case in history where a first-grade trial had forced a magistrate to bow and apologize to the plaintiff. After the elder finished his bow, he stood straight once more. His face instantly became harsh. Like a completely different person, he shouted, Long Chen, you insulted the dean. How do you explain that? Chapter 2877 A Glid Tung His face changed faster than the flipping of a book. The elder was filled with fury inside, and his gaze seemed like he wished to cut Long Chen to pieces. He had previously left an opening for Long Chen to grasp. Now that this matter was over, he returned to his normal appearance, pointing out Long Chen's previous words. Long Chen had grabbed hold of his slip-up and refused to let go. Now it was his turn. It was as if he personally wanted to whip Long Chen. I insulted the dean? Don't slander people. When did I insult the dean? Demanded Long Chen. That aggrieved expression looked so believable that people almost fell for it. You. You're absolutely shameless. Have you already forgotten what you just said? The magistrate almost coughed up blood. Long Chen's skill in playing the fool was actually quite high. What are you talking about? Asked Long Chen. The dean's butt is big, shouted the magistrate. Is saying it an insult to the dean? You said it too just now. Are you also guilty? Retorted Long Chen disdainfully. You. The elder almost coughed up blood again. He had once more fallen for Long Chen's trap. Zhang Ling and Zhang Xiu finally let out a laugh. The two of them had been holding back a long time, but they finally couldn't endure any longer. Seeing that elder's infuriated appearance. Their laughter escaped. The elder's face was red and his neck was thick from anger. Mu Qingyan immediately grabbed the two of them and covered their mouths. But their laughter had already escaped. So covering their mouths didn't stop that from ringing out. Furthermore, some laughter continued to occasionally leak out from the gaps. This cover-up only made it worse. Seeing their bodies trembling with suppressed laughter, Mu Qingyan was angry, anxious, and embarrassed. Respected magistrate, they didn't do it on purpose. Mu Qingyan hastily apologized upon seeing the elder's reaction. His face was black with rage. It actually looked like it was going to leak out of his skin. Long Chen, don't play the fool. Answer my question directly. The answer is the answer. What about it? Again, I never insulted the great dean, said Long Chen. This reason is unable to convince anyone, shouted the elder. You want a reason? It's simple. Answer me directly. If I say that our dean's chest is big, is that an insult? Asked Long Chen. Of course not. What about his hands are big? No. His feet are big. No. Then why would his butt being big count as an insult? The hands and feet are all parts of the body. The butt is the same. If the hands and feet don't count, then why would the butt count? Asked Long Chen. Silence rang out. Luo Bing. Luo Ning. Mu Qingyan, and the others stared at Long Chen in wonder. Such an insult had actually been turned into nothing by his quibbling. The elder was at a loss for words, not knowing how to reply. If he agreed, then there would be no way of punishing Long Chen. If he disagreed, then that would be slapping his own face. He had fallen for Long Chen's trap once again. Before he could think of what to say, Long Chen continued. The hands and feet don't count because they are always exposed. But you feel like the butt is insulting because our butts are always covered. Just due to this cover, 
Its essence has changed in people's minds, making people think that exposing it is something shameful. But if you were to wear your underwear anywhere else, its essence would also change over time. For example, some people act like emperors sitting far above people, looking proper, but constantly doing improper things just because they are wearing their underwear on their face, causing their eyes to turn red and their hearts to turn black. Then they become so foolish that they can't even differentiate between the face and the butt. These words might be crass, but they also had a deeper meaning. The onlookers were surprised that a youngster could have such insight. Not only did he easily escape the matter of the big butt, but he was clearly indicating that by targeting him, the magistrate had torn down his own facade, revealing his butt for all to see Novaloon.com you. The magistrate quivered with rage, but his head was empty. He didn't know what to say. As a magistrate, he was always the one asking questions, while others answered. It had been a long time since he had gone through verbal sparring. As for Long Chen, he was skilled in all kinds of fighting. Fighting with fists. He could beat you until you knelt and begged for mercy. Fighting with words. He could curse you until you were lost and bewildered. Li Ke and the others almost prostrated themselves toward him. The longer they knew him, the more they felt him to be worthy of worship. They originally surrendered themselves to his terrifying combat power. But the longer they were with him, the more they found that any aspect of Long Chen's would be enough for them to learn from for a lifetime. They realized that this was the definition of a genius. Suddenly, clapping rang out from a corner of the hall. A white-haired elder with a straw hat covering his face was sitting there. Only his long facial hair was revealed. Others started to clap along with him until the entire hall was filled with clapping. The two magistrates' expressions grew exceedingly ugly. The elder with the scar on his face slammed his gavel, shouting, Silence! The hall gradually returned to calm. However, those two elders no longer possessed the air of magistrates. As for the head judge, he was sitting there as if nothing had happened. Long Chen smiled. It seemed that everyone was at least somewhat aware of these two old fellows' matters. That was why they encouraged him upon seeing how flustered they were. It seemed that the two of them had offended quite a few people. All right, the discussion on Long Chen's previous words ends here. Let us get to the main topic. Everyone stand. We are formally starting the trial, announced the head judge solemnly. As he stood, everyone else did as well, even all the onlookers. The atmosphere instantly grew serious. Just at this moment, the two divine statues' runes slowly lit up. The entire trial hall was bathed in a sacred light. At the same time, the position of the magistrates and head judge rose, forming an arched platform. A dignified air then settled throughout the hall. The magistrates and the head judge bowed toward the two divine statues before slowly sitting back down in their positions. The head judge solemnly shouted, Chu Kuang, Chu Yishan, Yi Ming, enter the trial hall. Chapter 2878 True Shamelessness Mu King Gaian suddenly reached out and grabbed Long Chen's hand. She wrote into his palm, Why are Chu Kuang and the others brought in at a different time than us? With the suppression of the divine statues, they were unable to communicate spiritually. This was to prevent people on the trial from secretly colluding. However, they were incapable of communicating spiritually even without the suppression of those runes. Hence, Mu King Gaian used this method to communicate. Otherwise, even a whisper would be heard by all. Long Chen smiled and gave her a thumbs up for this smart idea. He wrote into her hand. According to the laws, those determined to be guilty appear afterwards so that they are under greater mental pressure. The trial isn't over. How did they determine that they're guilty? Asked Mu King Gaian. So many people died. And he was the one who brought them out. How could he not be guilty? If everyone that I brought out died, I would also have to bear the responsibility. Even if it was someone else intentionally harming me, I must bear some responsibility for the dead, replied Long Chen. Mu King Gaian clapped her forehead. She suddenly recalled that there was truly such a rule in the academy. This was precisely why hunting parties required a certain number of people, equipment, and information on the terrain. That way, if there were casualties, the leader of the group would not be blamed. However, if people were to simply leave on their own accord and casualties appeared, then the leader would bear responsibility for it. 
Because Mu King Gion had never led people out for personal reasons, she had forgotten this rule. Now that she thought of this, she looked at Long Chen gratefully. Long Chen had actually been willing to risk bearing responsibility for this, but he had never said anything. Seeing the two of them riding on each other's hands, Luo Ning's mouth curled. She reached out to Mu King Gion's other hand and intentionally made it so that Long Chen could see what she was riding. Shameless Long Chen looked at her. So she had actually taken such a matter as him taking advantage of Mu King Gion. Long Chen smiled at Luo Ning and wrote a few words in the air. Due to how messy he wrote it, she couldn't see clearly. He repeated it, but she frowned, still unable to comprehend. Long Chen then extended his hand, indicating for her to give her hand to him so that he could write on it. Hence, Luo Ning extended her hand. Long Chen solemnly grabbed her hand and rubbed her fingers, the back of her hand, and the palm several times. After a long time, Luo Ning was still waiting to see what he was doing. Luo Bing couldn't bear watching any longer and nudged Luo Ning. Only then did Luo Ning see Long Chen's evil smile. She immediately retracted her hand and glared at him furiously. Long Chen wrote a few words in the air to her. Now she understood what he was trying to say. You misunderstood me before. I'll show you what true shamelessness is. Luo Ning was enraged, feeling like she had been duped. But even as she opened her mouth, Luo Bing covered it. Long Chen smiled and returned to his own seat. Suddenly, a black thing passed by him. When he looked more closely, he jumped out of his seat. What is that? Three people had walked into the trial hall just as Long Chen and the others were communicating secretly. No, more accurately, two had walked in, while another one was being carried by the other two. The one who made Long Chen jump was someone who looked like he was made of coal. His mouth, nose, and ears were gone. His barren head only had a pair of eyes glaring at Long Chen like a viper. You're, Long Chen, sit down, shouted the magistrate. Only then did Long Chen sit down, looking at that charcoal. From his gaze, Long Chen realized that it was Chu Kuang. The current Chu Kuang wasn't arrogant at all. He had been turned into a puppet that couldn't even move. He couldn't even sit. He had to be leaned against the chair. Long Chen almost laughed. It seemed that while the flame-setting divine beat had saved his life, it had cost quite a bit. What he didn't know was that when Chu Kuang was underground, the elder he had brought with him was Chu Yishan, and the latter had immediately activated the flame-setting divine beat when the explosion occurred. But they were rather unlucky. They ended up stuck in a crack, while the torrent of lava exploded. That torrent kept them sitting in a small corner for a long time. This resulted in the power of the flame-setting divine bead being used up. At that point, even a four-peak expert would be killed. Chu Yishan was part of the Chu family, and in the end, had managed to charge into the torrent with the last bit of the flame-setting divine bead's protection, allowing him and Chu Kuang to fly out. However, the explosive power was too great. Although they managed to succeed in the end, a huge amount of fire poison had entered their bodies. Chu Yishan was a four-peak expert, so he was able to resist it, but Chu Kuang couldn't. Even after escaping, Chu Kuang had lost half of his life. If it weren't for Chu Yishan bringing him back to the academy promptly so that he could be healed, he really would have been crippled. Although his life was saved, the fire poison couldn't be rapidly expelled. He had to endure the pain of the fire poison coursing through his veins every day, while he was also turned into his current coal-like state. That was the result of the fire poison igniting his body. What was outside of his body could be considered the ashes of the burning of his body. It was like there was a pile of wood within his body that he couldn't extinguish. If he extinguished it, then the flame of his life would also be put out. The only method was to let the fire poison burn itself out. But he also had to heal the rest of his body as it burned in order to protect the core. That was the only way to expel the fire poison but it was also the most painful way. Mu King Gion also jumped in shock when she saw Chu Kuang's current state. She hadn't expected the insufferably arrogant Chu Kuang to be turned into a human stick. Luo Ning was smiling to her heart's content. This feeling was even better than killing Chu Kuang. To have just escaped from calamity, even if you survive, there must be some suffering. Congratulations. Congratulations Long Chen cupped his fists toward Chu Kuang's malicious gaze.
flames almost exploded out of Chu Kuang's eyes. He had almost lost his life just now. Even at this moment, he didn't know how it had happened. This blow was truly great. During the trial, you may not privately speak to each other. You get a warning for the first infraction, but the second infraction will result in the fire whip, barked the scarred elder. Long Chen curled his lips. He naturally knew that the first offense was just a warning, which was why he intentionally provoked Chu Kuang. Only a fool would do it a second time. The trial had officially started, so Long Chen reserved his own emotions. Now, these two old ghosts were waiting for a chance to blame him, and he couldn't give them that chance. It's time for both sides to narrate what happened. Long Chen, you go first, said the head judge. Chapter 2879 Start your performance My mouth is stiff at the moment. I'll send a representative. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to talk about such things. Outrageous. You have repeatedly insulted this trial, completely ignoring the Academy's laws. Do you really need to be punished before you'll start acting properly? shouted the magistrate that had previously apologized to Long Chen. Long Chen looked at him and curled his mouth. According to the Academy's own laws, the sixth chapter of the trial section, third clause, fifth paragraph, someone in a trial who is unwell, not in a good mental state, or other reasons that affect their narrative ability, can assign someone else as a representative. Oh, great magistrate, you don't even know about this law? Do you really feel good sitting in that position? Do you even care about your bot? Long Chen gazed at him disdainfully. This fellow really was an idiot. Long Chen didn't know if he had just forgotten all the laws he was supposed to know or if he just thought that Long Chen wouldn't know this one. You dare to insult me? You don't place any of these traditions in your eyes. The High Firmament Academy's laws are not to be disgraced by you, shouted the magistrate. How did I insult you? We've discussed it before. The butt is just part of the body. It doesn't count as an insult. Even the dean didn't quibble over this matter. So why are you shouting? What? Do you think that your butt is even bigger than the dean's? Sneered Long Chen. Even the head judge frowned. How was it that they somehow ended up looping back to this topic? Long Chen once more managed to pull in the dean. As well as the butt. Silence. You may not bring up the dean's name another time. This is a kind of disrespect to his old face, said the head judge. All right, I admit I used the wrong word just now. I switched the face with the butt. Furthermore, facing a magistrate, I should use the proper honorifics. Long Chen cupped his fists toward the magistrate. Great respected magistrate, you don't even know about this law? Do you really feel good sitting in that position? Do you even care about your face? The magistrate quivered with fury and wanted to claw Long Chen, but his claw had struck an iron nail. Long Chen was too familiar with the laws of the academy. It seemed that he was even more familiar with them than the magistrate was. The magistrate shouted, This clause is correct, but you're perfectly fine. Why aren't you able to testify yourself? I was perfectly fine before, but then I encountered someone with a disagreeable mouth. The crap he spouted injured me deeply. So I will have my friend take my place. How did that become looking down on the court and the high firmament academy's laws? You're once more accusing me of crazy things. Sorry, but I'm not able to accept such accusations. I need to rest. What's wrong with having someone who witnessed everything testify in my place? Great magistrate, if there is a problem, please tell us all. If such a thing truly constitutes looking down on the academy's laws, I am willing to submit to my punishment. Please, start your performance. Long Chen gestured to the magistrate, indicating for him to start. You, the magistrate couldn't say a word back, so he furiously gnashed his teeth. Long Chen's tongue was a weapon in its own right. The magistrate already felt like he had been slashed by a thousand sabers, his body covered in wounds. According to the law, Long Chen has the right to have someone speak for him. However, Long Chen, you only get one chance to testify. Once you're done telling your side, you won't be qualified to interject in someone else's testimony of your own accord, nor will you have a chance to add anything, warned the head judge. That's fine. I, Long Chen, have never done anything that cannot be spoken of. I also disdain lying, said Long Chen indifferently. All right, 
Then you can start, said the head judge. Long Chen looked back. Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Mu Qingyan instantly tensed. Especially Luo Ning. She didn't know whether or not Long Chen would pick her. You. Long Chen then pointed at her, causing her heart to clench. It was fine for her to talk in her normal manner at other times. But in this situation, she felt like her throat had closed. The world was spinning around her. So she clenched her teeth and slowly stood. I'm not talking about you. With your clumsy mouth and how you treat me. Who knows whether or not you'll sell me out? I'm talking about the one behind you. Said Long Chen. Pointing behind Luo Ning. Luo Ning turned around to see Li Kei. Li Kei's jaw dropped. And he couldn't believe his own ears. Long Chen was actually calling on him to testify. Li Kei nervously stood up. His forehead already shiny with sweat. He had never been in such a situation. How long are you planning on shaking? You aren't even capable of lying in this kind of situation. Just answer whatever they ask. No one is interested in all the immoral things you did before Long Chen kicked him in the butt. Sending him forward. Li Kei stumbled onto the stand. What's your name? Demanded the scarred magistrate. Guess. Li Kei's voice shuddered. This time. Long Chen didn't miss here. In his nervousness. Li Kei wasn't able to pronounce his own name properly just like when he had introduced himself to Long Chen. Brazen. The scarred magistrate was enraged. Long Chen was already so arrogant, but now his subordinate actually dared to challenge him as well. Even the others were astonished. Were all of Long Chen's subordinates so brave? I, I, I'm surnamed Li. My given name is Kei. Together, it's Li Kei. Li Kei was so nervous that he had even forgotten how he had said that he would report his name with the characters separate in the future. Otherwise, it sounded like a provocation. Li Kei almost wept. This elder's rage was terrifying to him. He had a new understanding of how frightening Long Chen was. He was able to point and curse at this terrifying existence while surrounded by thousands of other powerful experts. That didn't require just bravery to do. The scarred magistrate barked. Enunciate properly. Start your testimony. Tell us what happened from start to end. Yes. On that day, Ba San told us to go out for training. He told us to eat more for breakfast and hone our weapons. Li Kei began to stumble through his testimony. Get to the main point, ordered the magistrate. The swords had main points and some beast piercing arrows, but no others, said Li Kei, bewildered. Long Chen laughed. This fellow was so nervous that it was perfect. The magistrate was ashen with fury, but Li Kei's quivering appearance did not appear like he was playing with them, so the magistrate couldn't punish him. He couldn't bother to ask anything. The more questions he asked, the more nervous Li Kei became. On the other hand, the head judge simply listened without interjecting. Li Kei then spent a full hour explaining how Long Chen had brought them out, how they had trained, and how they had awoken and seen a volcanic eruption. Isn't there a part missing in the middle? The scarred elder had run into the iron nail known as Long Chen repeatedly. Now, it was the turn of the other magistrate. Miss Luo Bing can give the accounting for the missing portion. By having two viewpoints of testimony at the same time, the story will be even clearer, said Long Chen. Chapter 2880 Competing Luo Bing nodded. She explained how she and her sister had gone out to search for the heavenly flame seed. She then explained how a traitor had sold them out and put them in desperate straits. She also told the others how Long Chen had come and saved them. This way. The portion that Li Kei and the others had missed was made up for. It could be considered a complete narration. Luo Bing stealthily glanced at Long Chen with admiration. His thinking actually ran so deep. Long Chen had intentionally had Li Kei tell his part before having Luo Bing make up for the spot that Li Kei hadn't been present. Long Chen knew that Luo Bing wasn't skilled at lying. And furthermore, in this situation, she didn't have the power to lie. If she was the one to tell the whole story, under that pressure, she wouldn't be able to conceal the part where Long Chen had told them about how he had conned Chu Kuang. However, since it was separate parts, with her only having to talk about one part, not only was the whole matter narrated perfectly, but the secret was coincidentally avoided as well. Long Chen's calculations were truly stunning. After Luo Bing's testimony, everything was seamless with no flaw. Furthermore, 
Almost everyone knew of the Chu and Luo family's enmity. The Academy's rules only limited people within the Academy, so they couldn't manage the grudges that lay between the families of the disciples. As long as they made their moves outside of the jurisdiction of the Academy, the Academy would rarely interfere in personal matters. However, this time, things were too big. Hundreds of inner Academy disciples had died. If they didn't handle this, the entire Academy would be thrown into disorder. Chu Kuang, it's your turn to testify, said the scarred magistrate. Chu Kuang's body twitched, but other than blinking his eyes, he couldn't really move. Long Chen narrowed his eyes and instantly understood. This fellow was truly crafty. He actually used such a way to avoid having to testify. Just then, the scarred magistrate looked at the head judge. Chu Kuang's injuries are too severe to testify or defend himself. Why don't we postpone this matter before continuing our investigation? Chu Kuang's injuries are severe, and he cannot testify for himself. We can question him after he has recovered. But aren't some other people capable of speaking, said the head judge. But the two of them are. Oh, the head judge suddenly stared down at the magistrate. The guilty parties can be differentiated by master and subordinate, big and small. Chu Kuang can temporarily not testify, but the other two are fine. Correct? Could it be that because you're a member of the Chu family, you want to use your position for fraud? Long Chen was surprised. Originally. He had thought that these two magistrates had just been bought by the Chu family, but based on the head judge's words, this scarred elder was actually a member of the Chu family. No wonder Luo Bing said that the Chu family was deeply rooted in the academy. Such solid backing was truly tough. The scarred magistrate's expression sank. He coldly said, I, Chu Hua Iron, have always acted fair and impartial. When have I ever abused my position for fraud? Head judge, with your status, there are some words that you can't randomly say. The head judge's words had clearly infuriated him. The truth was that the Discipline Institute was essentially run by him and the other magistrate. That was because the previous holder of the head judge position eventually ended up with a deviation in his chi technique. And in order to recuperate, he almost completely stopped managing matters in the Discipline Institute. Then out of nowhere. Just a few years ago, a new head judge was appointed. Furthermore, it was someone viewed as extremely young for the position. He was also missing an arm. The two of them were extremely displeased by this appointment. Whether it was in terms of seniority or qualifications, both of them were superior to this one-armed youngster. However, they heard that he was appointed by the dean himself, so they didn't dare to do something. Fortunately, there was no conflict that arose from this matter. But after the new head judge appeared, their own authority was slowly suppressed. Furthermore, this head judge was a bit domineering, simply saying what he wanted and making it happen without giving the two of them a chance to discuss it. The two of them had started to grow unhappy with this situation, so they had secretly set up some hindrances for him. There was even a rumor that a year ago, there had been a large argument between them. The rumor said that the head judge even went to the dean but it didn't seem as if anything had happened before it was settled. Afterward, this head judge did not appear again. The two of them assumed that he was dejected and started to bitterly cultivate. However, Long Chen's matter caused him to come back out. He was as domineering as ever, directly opening the first grade trial hall before the two of them even received the word. It could be said that there was a certain estrangement between the head judge and the two magistrates. The head judge now finally had a chance to counterattack, so his words naturally weren't very polite. Yi Ming, step up, shouted the head judge. That Yi Ming hastily took the stand. Although he was a four peak expert, he was pale with terror. Tell us what happened. Remember, you will only have one chance, ordered the head judge coldly. According to Yi Ming, he was the one who had accompanied Chu Kuang back to Crescent Moon Valley. He explained what had happened. Long Chen suddenly indicated that he wished to speak. If the judges assented, he could speak. Long Chen, what do you have to say? Asked the head judge. There is a hole in what he said. He testified that Chu Kuang wanted his protection, but he didn't know the goal. However, he was clearly wearing a mask when he came. That shows that he was afraid of being recognized, and he did not mention this in his testimony. 
there is no need to wear a mask to protect someone. Only someone doing some shady business would need to cover up their identity. Am I right? Long Chen looked at that four-peak expert. Yi Ming instantly began to sweat. The expressions of the two magistrates grew ugly. The head judge shouted, Yi Ming, did you hear what Long Chen said? He asked you what Chu Kuang told you he wanted you to do. Tell the truth. Yi Ming's body quivered. He was considering how to respond when the divine light of the two statues increased in intensity and fell on him. Ah, Yi Ming screamed as if his soul was pierced. If someone wanted to lie here, the statues would immediately sense it and ignite their souls. Thus, there was no way to lie here. I'll speak. I'll speak. Young Master Chu Kuang wanted me to kill people. He wanted Luo Bing, Luo Ning, and Long Chen dead. 